They toil and sweat under the hot summer sun, dreaming of this night. Are we talented enough to beat Maryland? You bet your ass we are. Their determination and confidence drives them. Well, inside, they ask themselves an unspoken question. First, a question we answer right here tonight. Am I ready for the big time? DeKalb, Illinois is the place to be tonight. College football back. The fans are ready. And we've got a great ball game for you tonight. The number 15 Maryland Terrapins come rolling into DeKalb to battle the preseason favorite in the Mid-American Conference, the Northern Illinois Huskies. Welcome in to Husky Stadium, Brigham Field at Husky Stadium, newly named tonight. I'm David Kaplan, alongside former NFL star Tom Waddle. And Tom, this should be a great ball game. Northern Illinois looking for national respect. The number 15 Terrapins are a pretty good place to start. This should be an outstanding game. Maryland returns 17 players from last year's 11-3 squad that humiliated Tennessee in the Peach Bowl. Ralph Regan has got this team rolling, but they better come in with their eyes open, Cap, because this is a very good Northern Illinois football team, probably the most talented team that Joe Novak has had in his eight years here in DeKalb. Well, Northern Illinois is led by a guy they call the Burner. Let's go down to the field. Third member of our broadcast crew is Gail Fisher. She'll tell you all about their All-American running back. Michael the Burner Turner, what a nickname. He has his own website, he even has his own hot sauce, and he's getting national exposure as the Heisman Candidate Trophy on the cover of USA Today's sports section. Well-deserved, he was the second leading rusher in the NCAA last season. He had seven games in which he rushed for 200 or more yards. He's big and fast. He runs a 4-4-1-40 at 230 pounds. Students here at NIU say he's the best turner since Ike and Tina. Now covering the other side of the field, let's go over to Mitch Robinson with the Maryland Terrapins. Thanks a lot, Gal. And the story on the Maryland sidelines, injuries. 12 men listed on the injured list, nine unavailable tonight, including all ACC offensive guard Lamar Bryant. In fact, they'll go with the third string offensive guard at his position. Top running back Bruce Perry, high ankle sprain, he's out. They hope to get him back next week for Florida State. The concern on the field is starting quarterback number seven, Scott McBride. He injured his groin on August 18th, missed a week of practice. If he is ineffective tonight, they'll have to go with backup Orlando Evans. Evans, a Juco transfer, played in one game last year against Eastern Michigan, threw one pass, and tore his ACL. Now let's head back up to the boys. Thank you, Mitch. There's also an air of sadness here tonight. You see number 76. That was the jersey number of Shane Fitzgerald, a sophomore offensive lineman for Northern. He should have been starting tonight's game, and tragically, he was killed in that horrific porch collapse in Chicago in late June. They have honored his memory here tonight. We'll come back. We'll have the kickoff for you after this. NIU fans, when you enter the Village Commons bookstore, you're entering Husky territory. BCB is the official site for NIU athletics. Featuring the new NIU logo on a wide range of hats, t-shirts, shorts, sweats, and NIU logo gifts and accessories. Whether you're a student, graduate, or a fan of NIU athletics, the Village Commons Bookstore is your Husky headquarters. Visit us in DeKalb or call us toll-free, 800-700-4868, or on the web at www.bcbs.com. Are you ready for football? Check out the season's hottest ticket from DirecTV. When you subscribe to the NFL Sunday Ticket exclusively from DirecTV, you will get four free months of Total Choice Premiere with local channels. Act now on this incredible deal, and you will also get a four-room DirecTV system, including standard installation, for free. Call now, 1-800-505-6988. See the games you want to see with a choice of nearly every NFL game on Sundays only from DirecTV. 
You will also get the best DirecTV programming package, the Total Choice Premiere with local channels, including family and kids programming, plus over 30 premium channels from HBO, Stars, Showtime, Cinemax, and Sports Pack. If you call now, you'll get up to four rooms professionally installed in your home free. This incredible offer will not last long, so what are you waiting for? Sign up for DirecTV NFL Sunday Ticket and get four free months of Total Choice Premiere. If that's not enough, you'll also get a four-room DirecTV system, including standard installation for free. Call toll-free 1-800-505-6988. That's 1-800-505-6988. One call, we install. What the? Call Empire today for custom windows and vinyl siding in a week. And you'll hear about it. House looks great. New windows and siding? Call Empire today. Our custom windows are energy efficient, our vinyl siding maintenance free. Shop at home and save with our low prices, plus low payments till 2005. We deliver in a week and install in a day. Call Empire today. Get custom windows and vinyl siding in a week and enjoy the results. 800-588-2300 Empire. Today. What is White Sox baseball? It's Burley's cool and cologne throwing heat. It's Thomas, Valentin, and Ordonez going deep. It's White Sox fans on the edge of their seats. It's chills and spills. It's high heat. It's refreshing. It's a sports bar in right and the fan deck in center. It's Jose, Jose, Jose and OEO Maglio. It's all kinds of fun. And one simple goal. This is White Sox baseball. I'm attorney Peter Francis Geraci. Chapter 13 may be able to take all your debt, past due mortgage payments, credit cards, finance companies, car and truck loans, medical bills, and mash them into one payment that you can afford. Credit counselors rarely, if ever, can do that. So get real debt relief from the law firm you trust to get you out of debt. 1-800-401-4010. Five, four, three, two, one. The entire world of extreme sports, all in one place. Weekdays on Fox Sports Net. Welcome back to DeKalb, Illinois. College football is back. There are the Northern Illinois Huskies pouring out of their locker room. Eight years ago, when Joe Novak arrived, he put up a big sign, Tom, and it said, those who stay will be champions. After he put the sign up, they went on a 23-game losing streak. <laughs> they have then turned it around. They were Mac West Division champs a year ago. They look for a lot more starting tonight against one of the best teams in America. Kind of a David and Goliath story here. Well, they certainly step up in class against this Maryland football team. I, I expect that the Terrapins will come out here, maybe bow up their chest a little bit, talk to this Northern Illinois squad, and, and try to intimidate them. And how the Huskies respond, I really think will set the tone for the remainder of the game. Huskies have no pressure. Not a lot is expected of them tonight. If they go out there and throw their hat on the field, play well, and they lose, no big deal. But if they go out here, they come away with the upset victory, then they're going to get that recognition and that publicity that they're looking for. Well, you can hear some of the booze. Maryland is coming onto the field. We'll take a break. we got the kickoff coming up on Fox Sports. An investigator of the undead. The only secret people keep is immortality. A killer from the beyond. Something terrible is gonna happen. I place you in Alex's path. Your love is my creation. Now, one man must stand <laughs> between the living and the dead. I order you back to hell! Keith Ledger. It's you and me. Shannon Sossaman. Bless my heart. Hope to die. The Order. Rated R. September 5th, only in theaters. Behind them is a snippy maitre d' and a wilted Caesar. In front of them is a family drum playing itself out. But right now, life is perfect. Thanks to a full moon, a powerful engine, and the Autobahn-tested suspension of the Acura RL. We are getting close to kickoff. Maryland has won the toss, and they have decided to defer to Northern Illinois, so the Huskies will receive the season's opening kickoff. Nick Novak will put the ball in the air in just a couple of moments for the Maryland Terrapins, and we expect Randy Drew to be deep for NIU. Tom, you and I were here on opening day a year ago when another ACC school came in. It was Wake Forest, and 
six plays into the game, Lionel Hickenbottom, one of Northern's best secondary players, went down with a torn knee ligament. He is back here tonight for his final season, and Joe Novak said he's what really is the glue in their secondary. Yeah, Coach Novak has said this is a kid that can play on Sundays. He can play in the National Football League. He's been injured quite often. He's actually only played in nine games in their last 23 games. The knee injury is something that they'll keep an eye on. He's their spiritual leader, and as I said, certainly their best defensive back. There's a look at last year's National Coach of the Year, Ralph Friedgen, a wonderful football coach. Third year as the Maryland head coach. He played at Maryland. He was a coordinator at Maryland, and he's one of the bright minds in college football, taking his Terps to a 21-5 record over two and, years. And the interesting thing is folks around the Terrapin program were they were believing that year three was going to be the year that they were going to turn it around. In fact, Ralph Friedgen, 21 and five in his first two years. They got a BCS Bowl in his first year. They went last year and they demolished Tennessee in the Peach Bowl. This is an outstanding program that I think has turned some heads. There's a look at the weather here at Brigham Field at Husky Stadium, 88 degrees, a lot of humidity and a chance of some storms moving in later in the ball game. Novak will Set it up on the tee, put it in the air, and it is Drew and Hickenbottom deep for Northern Illinois. The college football season is underway. Novak, a high driving kick, and it is going to take Drew deep in the end zone where he will cut your knee down, and Northern Illinois will go on the attack. First and 10 at their own 20-yard line, led by their quarterback, Josh Holby. Here's a kid that, that not a lot was known about him last season. He came in replacing a, a three-year starter at Chris Finland. Started a little slow, but certainly became one of the more efficient passers in all of college football last year. Makes good decisions. 15 touchdowns, just six interceptions. A tremendous surprise for Coach Joe Novak last season. Uh, interesting to watch. Everyone probably knows the name Michael Turner. But today featured on the USA Today, as Gail Fisher told you, they handed a copy of that to every player on the Maryland club today, the coaches did, to get them ready for Michael Turner. Hand off to Turner on the first play of the game, and hurt Turner across the 25, a gain of five. And it will be a second five for the Northern Huskies. And that's what Northern wanted, Tom, a quick start. Let's take a look at the offensive starters for Northern Illinois. Josh Haldy, he is your quarterback, a junior. You see his numbers from a year ago, very good TD interception ratio. Three, Rogers, Galani, Eben Hocken for Strady, your offensive line. And there's your receiver, skill positions. Turner, watch P.J. Fleck, number 82. Second and five for the Huskies, and they're going to throw. Haldy rolls, drills, and fires. And P.J. Fleck makes the catch across the 30, and that is a first down for Northern Illinois. Let's take a look at the Maryland defense, and it is a good one. Smith, Starks, Feldheim, and Cochran. Starks, one of the top tackles in all of college football. Linebackers, a very active group. Dequel Jackson, the man in the middle, replacing departed All-American E.J. Henderson. First and 10 for the Huskies at the 33, and they hand it to Michael Turner, and he tries to turn the corner, and he does turn the corner, and then he's knocked down at the 37-38 yard line as we take a look at the Maryland defensive backs, a very, very strong group. Foxworth Wilson, Jerome Cox, and Madhu Williams. We'll tell you about his summer internship a little later. Very interesting story. And the talent and the depth of this crew is going to allow that Maryland defense to come up, play eight men in the box, try to take Michael Turner away from the, the Northern Illinois offense and go man-to-man -man on the outside with the Husky receivers. Four receivers set for Northern with Turner, the single back, and. Baldy is going to throw, looks for Fleck, and he is lit up. Andrew Smith, a nickelback coming in. You had a four wide receiver set. That's that little wide receiver screen. Read very well. You see Andrew Smith, a nice break on the ball. AJ Fleck, fortunate to come down with it. As we said, this is a very talented Maryland secondary. That's a loss of three on that play. So it'll bring up a third and seven for the Huskies. Maryland certainly, Tom, has a big advantage in terms of size on their D-line versus Northern Illinois' O-line. No question, especially on the left side of that Northern offensive line. They are young and they are small. I would expect that Northern and Michael Turner will try to go over the right side of that line most of the evening. Paldy drops back, looks, 
throws, finds Fleck. He tries to get to the first down marker, and he'll be knocked out about a yard and a half short. So the Huskies will probably have to punt this football away. How much gambling do you do when you're Northern Illinois and you think, wow, a yard away from a first down. We've got Michael Turner, but it's fourth down and it's early in the football game. What do you do? I think you've got to play the field position game right now. You kick the ball, you try to pin Maryland back inside their 10 or 15 yard line, and you take a shot with your defense, a defense that was very good last year. Anthony Gallagher, the punter. JoJo Walker, the man deep for Maryland. And the kick is away. No fair catch. Walker makes the catch in traffic and is able to advance it to about the 43. What dangerous catch there. The Northern defenders were right there. And JoJo Walker credit him with an outstanding catch in traffic. It was, it was a solid move because instead of having the ball inside their own 15 or 20 yard line, they get it with great field position at their own 42. This is not what Coach Joe Novak wanted to see from his new punter. Scott McBrien, the quarterback, will watch to see if his injured groin will limit his mobility at all. He's very versatile. He can run, he can throw, and Josh Allen is the man in the backfield with outstanding speed in place of the injured Bruce Perry. McBrien's going to throw on first down, fires, and it is complete to Jafar Williams. He makes the catch and is tackled right around midfield. A solid throw. We take a look at the Maryland offense. There is Scott McBrien. You look at his numbers from a year ago. A year ago, he was in a battle for the starting quarterback job. Now he is the man. Stephon Heyer, Brooks, make up a very good offensive line for Maryland. Second down and three. McBrien barking out signals. He's going to hand off to Josh Allen. He tries the middle, and he will pick up a first down for the Terrapins right around the 46-yard line. There's the backs of the receivers, Allen, Fiddler, Jafar Williams, Latrez Harrison, and Jeff Dugan. Very talented group of skill position players. And the two wide receivers, Williams and Harrison, have a distinct height advantage over the Husky defenders. Both receivers go over 6 foot 2 and 215 pounds. First and 10 for the Maryland Terrapins. McBrien under center single back is Josh Allen. McBrien hands to Josh Allen and he is nailed in the backfield. Excellent job by Rob Lee. A big corner. He's on the other side you've got Randy Drew who's 5'8 and 180 pounds giving up about six inches to most of the Maryland receivers. Rob Lee a little bigger. Six foot one and 190 does an excellent job of run support. Take a look at the Northern Illinois defense. Reynolds, Wilson, Cooksey and Travis Moore, not a big group, but a very quick and athletic group. Second down and nine for Maryland. McBrien spots something and changes the play at the line of scrimmage. And he's going to drop back. Northern with pressure. They hit McBrien, and he completes it anyway. And Jafar Williams makes the catch. Credit McBride with standing in there in the face of the rush, Tom. Well, this is an attack 4-3. That's what they call this defense. You see the, the linebackers there. Obviously, Nick Duffy is one of the top linebackers in all of the MAC, if not all of college football. The secondary, the guy to watch, Randy Drew. He's a speedster. Seven interceptions last year. Lionel Hickenbottom comes back. That's a solid group in the secondary for Northern And they as well. call him the Mad Dog. The Mad Dog. That's exactly right. It's a first down for Maryland. They're in Northern Territory at the 34. McBrien barking off signals. He's going to fake and going to drop back, and he's going for the whole thing. He go! It's dropped in the end zone. And we have a flag down. Looks like Nick Duffy may have hit Scott McBrien a little late. Latrez Harrison had that ball in his hands and dropped it. And you are correct. We will have a roughing the passer penalty. I talked about it a minute earlier. They call this an attack 4-3. They come after the quarterback with a lot of blitzes. They leave their corners one-on-one -on -one back there, and they expose themselves to a lot of big plays. Latrez Harris has to come up Working with that football and make the penalty a consequence. Well, hey, well, let the guys play. No question. That's right there. a tough call. Tough call. Well, Nick Duffy's the type of kid that won't, that, won't let that take away his aggressiveness. 
But the quarterbacks, of course, during the summer camp usually get to wear that yellow or different colored shirt that's so right. nobody touch. You wanted one of those when you play. That's Coach, exactly yeah, I right. have one. That's I don't want to get hit. You got that right. Maryland's got a first down at the Northern Illinois 16-yard line after the roughing the passer call on Nick Duffy, the middle linebacker. The handoff to Josh Allen tries the middle, bangs his way inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. And that will bring up a second down and let's call it three. Josh Allen, a guy with a good combination of size and speed, 5'11", 206. Runs the 40 and a true 4.4 flat. As you said earlier, he fills in for Bruce Perry, who was scheduled to come back after missing all of last year with an injury. He's a quality fill-in. We're going to call it second and four. Spot it right at the 10-yard line. Man goes in motion, McBrien. Hand off again, Josh Allen up the middle. Josh Allen's got a first down. It's first and goal. Maryland Terrapins at the three-yard line. There's no question that Maryland has a distinct size advantage on the offensive line. They go 297, 318, 300, 309, and 301 across the front. As for Northern, they average about 255, 260. You pound on them early, you wear them out towards the end. You know that Maryland wants to play that power game. Well, number 74, C.J. Brooks has started every game since he's been at Maryland. 25 football games. He's 318. I would imagine he'd be one of the big uglies in here that they'll try and run behind. And the handoff inside. Short of the goal line, they'll call it a second and goal. And that's right at the entrance to the end zone. We don't get much closer, Tom. But just, uh, again, good lead blocking. Bernie Fiddler out there, his fullback leading the way. So many options when you've got a quarterback like Scott McBride who can throw it in, also very good with the option. Northern has a hard time deciding what they want to take away from this Maryland offense. Maryland second and goal at the one. Everybody bunched in. Hand off again. This time it is a touchdown for the Maryland Terrapin. Josh Allen. Rumbles in from inside the one, and the Terrapins strike first. With 8.43 left first quarter, Maryland has drawn first blood. Once again, just a mismatch at the line of scrimmage. Bernie Fiedler clears a path for Josh Allen. It's a momentum changer for this Maryland club, something that Northern wanted to try to stop early on. Nick Novak, extra point on the way. It is good. So the Maryland Terrapins, the 15th ranked team in the country, have a 7 0 lead. 8.43 left first quarter in the Cal, Illinois. Sorry I broke your TV. It's okay. And your stereo. Get yeah. out. You're sweet. Let me make you dinner. Oh, you don't have to. Okay. What are you doing? Pictures. For insurance purposes. The Kyocera smartphone. Video player, MP3 player, camera. This is one smartphone. Come on, Mr. Colbert. Keep them coming. Okay. Pat Bennett. Club salad. No mushrooms. Pat A. Bennett. Hot and spicy chicken salad. No olives. Patricia Bennett. A grilled chicken cashew salad. Perfect as is. Great job, Kevin. I get a lot of practice, Mr. Colbert. People love a salad made fresh to order. Rachel Kamen. Garden salad ranch dress. Deer store. Hot and spicy chicken sandwich. Salad. <laughs> Hot and spicy. Adam A. Abbott. Okay. I can do this. Try a Culver's custom creation salad today. Do you know you are one year old today? First birthday. Goodness. Mm. Happy birthday, Happy birthday. Oh, that's good. Let's open the present. Okay, you want to go open the present? Let's see what we got here. Yeah. Oh, no. What's in that box, Daddy? Oh, oh my goodness. You got a big screen TV. <laughs> Sears offers top brand projection TVs like Mitsubishi. Great credit options and a price match plus policy. Sears, good life, great price. Northern Illinois Husky football and Fox Sports Net brought to you by Culver's Frozen Custard and Butter Burgers, America's favorite made fresh. U.S. Cellular, we connect with you. Applebee's, eating good in the neighborhood. 
the Village Commons Bookstore for all your husky clothing and souvenirs. Visit us at bcbs.com. And Subway, eat fresh. Well, that touchdown drive for Maryland, eight plays, 58 yards. It took 337 off the clock. Allen, six carries, 22 yards. The workhorse puts the Terrapins on top. Go back to kick it away. Through and Hickenbottom again deep for the Huskies. Great environment here tonight. Got this beautiful plasma screen monitor up here. The They've given us cooling. way too many toys to work Wait, with. We got the first and ten line. Yep. And great people at Fox Sports Net have given us a, a, a lot to work with tonight. They've obviously overestimated. <laughs> the kick will come down to Randy Drew at the goal line. Drew will try and advance it to the 20 and they'll stop it just short, right around the 18-19 yard line, where the Huskies will go on the attack for the second time this evening. If you look at Ralph Friedman, last year's natural coach of the year, he talks to his quarterback, Scott McCryan, who engineered an eight-play, 58-yard drive. Allen capping it off with a one-yard rumble to the end zone. Well, they preach efficiency, and I would say that was a very efficient scoring drive. Right now, if you're the Northern Illinois Huskies, you stay with your game plan. You don't panic. You make sure you give the ball to Michael Turner, and you throw the short passes and try to move the ball down the field. Take care of the football. Josh Baldy will hand it off to Michael Turner. Turner is nailed just across the 20 by the interior of that Maryland defensive line. And that was the one thing that you remarked, Tom. Maryland is much bigger inside than that Husky offensive line. Well, the Huskies have some questions up front. They, they, they've lost three starters last year. Uh, there really is no depth out there. As I said earlier, they are young and they are small on the left-hand side. I'd be surprised to see a lot of two tight end offense out of the Huskies tonight, trying to protect their, their young left tackles up here. DJ Fleck is your slot receiver. Dan Sheldon, one of your wideouts, had a phenomenal year last season. There's the pitch to Michael Turner, turns the corner, and he's knocked out at the 21. Very well defensed again by Maryland. Number 57, Randy Starks, is a guy who's able to string things out. He's 318 pounds, and you'll see the Maryland pursuit is outstanding. Yeah, the Maryland, they're just too athletic. I don't think Josh Haldy wants to spend a lot of time running the option tonight. If you want to get that ball in Turner's hands, they did there, but they're big, they're fast, they're strong. There's a reason why this team has kept opponents to less than 20 points per game for two consecutive years. From the shotgun, Haldy, he's pressured. Haldy is going down at the 10-yard line. Maryland runs rough shot over the NIU offensive line. They get the sack, and they force Northern Illinois to punt. With seven minutes left, first quarter, out of the shotgun, Haldy really never had a chance, Tom. This is just a, a flat-out jailbreak. You see Jamal Chance comes in from the corner position. They are going to pressure both Michael Turner in the running game and Haldy in the passing game because they have so much confidence in their lockdown corners. JoJo Walker deep. Anthony Gallagher, the punter, was knocked down. There is no flag on the play. Good coverage by the Huskies. And Maryland will take over in Northern Illinois territory right around the 47-yard line when we come back in 7-0 turf. The all-new 265 horsepower Nissan Maxima. He co-authored the Illinois Joint Custody Law. He helped reunite Elian Gonzalez with his father. He wrote the groundbreaking book, Father's Rights. Studies show that children with involved fathers are less likely to abuse drugs or fail academically. I'm Jeffrey Loving. I'm an attorney who concentrates in protecting fathers. I've been helping dads with custody issues for over two decades. For a free brochure on father's rights, call 312-356-DADS. Yeah, yeah. Y'all just be 
ready. Cause here come the change. The broadcast rights for this event have been granted to Fox Sports Net by Northern Illinois University. Any reproduction or rebroadcast without the express written consent of Fox Sports Net and NIU is strictly prohibited. We'll send Tom Waddle over to your house. Turks go on the attack. A rather imposing figure. Yes, you are at 160 pounds, dripping wet. 85. Seven nothing. Turks. McBride the handoff, and Josh Allen rumbles to the 40. Right now, Tom, it looks like Maryland is really getting some good blocking up front. Allen is just hitting the hole. Well, that was the story. You're going to use your size and your strength against a much lighter northern defensive line. Well, they really does not want to put themselves in poor field position situations like they have it to end their first two offensive drives. It really opens it up for Maryland to do exactly what they want to do, and that's pound the football and mix in a few play-action passes. Second down and three at the NIU 40. McBrien fakes. He looks. He looks. He's going down. Scott McBrien is sacked. Travis Moore with a good edge rush. You'll see a lot of this. They were the number one team in the MAC last year, sacking opposing quarterbacks. 47 takedowns last year. He just gets to the edge. He beats Jeff Dugan, a four-year starter at tight end. It takes down the less than mobile Scott McBride as we talked off the top of the broadcast. McBride nursing a growing injury in this ballgame. And interesting, Dugan at the tight end outweighs the defensive lineman that just got to the quarterback. You don't see that too often. It's a third and eight now for Merrill. McBride going to throw, looking, looking, pressured again, rolls, shows good mobility. He's going for the home run ball. And oh. it's dropped in the end zone. He had his man, Jafar Williams was there and could not bring it down. Twice Maryland receivers have found themselves open in the end zone. Both times they come up empty. Scott McBride does a nice job getting away. Hickenbottom jumps in front of that ball. I'm not sure whether or not he got a hand on it. Jafar Williams, a big height advantage. Got to come down with that football. Six foot two, 210, and a monster vertical leap. Adam Potlatch is going to make his first collegiate punting try. Redshirt freshman, number 36, and he puts it in the air, and it looks like it's headed to the end zone, and it is. It will be a touchback, and the Huskies stiffen their defense, and they will go on the attack at the one. There's an inexperienced punter for you right there. Instead of kicking towards the angle out of bounds, he kicks it straight through the end zone. Well, they lost a, a dandy of a punter last year in Brooks Bernard, a kid who spent some time in the Bears training camp. Unfortunately, he did not make the squad. They have a tremendous punter, Brad Maynard, and here he in Chicago. First of all, Absolutely. So, Adam Podlish has got his feet to the fire tonight. We'll see if Michael Turner can get on track, and then Baldy tries to open things up through the air. First and 10, Huskies at the 20. They hand it to Turner. Turner crashes into the Maryland line and bangs it out to around the 23-yard line. You know, it didn't take long for Northern to put that second tight end in there to give Duck Free a young man, six foot six, but only 276, a redshirt freshman starting at left tackle. Got a little help from the tight end there. Michael Turner's had some success running the football tonight against this stout Maryland front four. Let's tell you an interesting story on the Maryland D-backs in just a moment. They're a very underrated crew. It's a second down and seven for the Huskies. Dan Sheldon is the motion man. Baldy is going to roll. He's going to look. He's got time, and he's going for the home run ball. And he overthrows T.J. Fleck, number 82. It looked like he was open for a while, but Fleck actually... Fairly well covered back there. Safety, Madhu Williams, who's one of the top safeties in all of college football. That ball was actually thrown in a catchable spot for Fleck. Might have been Williams who 
would have come down with it. We talked early in the game, Tom, about Maryland doing a little talking, trying to intimidate the Northern players with their D-back philosophy. Play big, play with emotion, and celebrate with your friends. Ralph Friedman said, tone it down a little. I don't want penalties for excessive They celebration. had a lot of celebrations last year, 18 interceptions from that crew, all four of them returned. From the shotgun, Baldy. And he hands it off to Michael Turner. He tries to turn the corner. He does. And Michael Turner rumbles to the 36-yard line. That is a first down for the Northern Illinois Huskies. And you're going to see this play is possible because of the block of Josh Haldy. Michael Turner with great vision. You see Haldy get out in front of the play. He gets a hat on Raymond Custis, the safety and makes that first down possible. Got to love a quarterback that will stick his nose in there. Want to make sure he doesn't get injured because there's not a whole lot of depth behind him. Both teams uh, don't have a lot of depth with quarterback. No question. So a first down for the Huskies. And Haldy's going to roll. He's going to drop it off. Seekslack rumbling and knocked out at the 45. Brad Seekslack. Haldy rolled out. Flips it over the onrushing defender, and that is another first down for the Northern Husky. Just a perfectly designed play. Maryland coming after them hard. Seaslack releases, just a little naked route. Gets the ball to the tight end. It's a block from Keith Perry. Northern is on the move. Michael Turner, six carries so far in the game, and he's got 30 yards, so pretty good. Five yards per carry. Haldy going to throw again, and Haldy's going down in a heap. Randy Starks, the man we told you about. Tommy, he's one of the best defensive linemen in all of college football. I have to be honest with you, I was nervous standing next to him on the field prior to the game. You know, I was going to say that. He's he was enormous. Up there and I went, my God, I'm glad I don't play football against you. Strongest player on the Maryland roster, six and a half sacks last year. Just a great combination of size and speed and strength and Wow, that's what you call explosive. And I believe he squatted over 700 pounds. And I believe Josh Holden's had enough of him. Northern he's coming Illinois. up with something like to talk about it. We're going to take a break. We're going to come back. Randy Starks is just phenomenal. It's 7 nothing there. <laughs> yeah, hey, call me on the edge phone. Is your phone broken, Joe? No, my wireless company doesn't give me enough anytime minutes. Hey, yeah, cool. <laughs> hey, call me back later. Where? Yo, Stick, we hanging out tonight? Yeah. Call me on Stick's phone. For award-winning customer service and all the minutes you need, switch to U.S. Cellular. Yeah, you'll get the minutes you need to use your own phone. U.S. Cellular, we connect with you. Giambi and the Yankees take on no more the Red Sox. Fox Saturday Baseball this week. Northsiders 2003. It's your one-stop shop for all the baseball happenings on the North Side. Join host Corey McFerrin for in-depth features, great interviews, and meet some of the Northsiders' biggest fans. Northsiders 2003. Only on Fox Sports Net. Contrary to popular belief, Golf Chicago is not a golf show about nothing. Hosted by the incomparable Jill Carlson. Golf Chicago. It's must-tee TV. Every Sunday on Fox Sports Net. Here's your chance to be the official Toyota fan of the game. During the fifth inning of every Cubs game on Fox Sports Net, we'll randomly select one lucky fan of the game. If Chipper Steve read your name and the Cubs score in their half of the inning, you'll win a Toyota Fox Sports Net prize package that includes a hat and a t-shirt. To enter, log on to fsnchicago.com or send a postcard to Toyota Fan of the Game, 350 North Orleans, Suite S1100, Chicago, Illinois, 60654. The Toyota Fan of the Game. It's fantastic. Welcome back. 3.07 left first quarter. The Maryland Terrapins with a 7 0 lead on the Northern Illinois Huskies. It is a second and 16 situation for Northern after that big sack from Randy Starks. Turner, the single back, black in motion. Aldi, rolling, rolling. Throws back across to Keith Perry. Perry across the 40. Perry hurdles out of bounds and a flag on the play. 
he is very near a northern first down. We'll see what the penalty is. I only hope that my microphone was on during the break because, as I said to you, the one way to slow down an attacking defense is run screens and run draws. And Keith Perry, who plays the Q position, kind of a hybrid between fullback and tight end, good enough to exploit the linebackers in the passing game and big enough to help out in the running game. This looks like this one's coming back, but a very well executed play. Going to run, we have a new angle block in the back by the offense. 10 yards from the end of the run, repeat second down. So they will take away that big gain for the Huskies with an illegal block in the back. They ever get you for that there, Mr. Wide Receiver? I cheated as much as possible. At six foot and 185 pounds running a 4740. I was behind the eight ball athletically. See, in college, they don't give the number. But it's not, it's not cheating if you don't get caught for it. He was cheating because he got caught. <laughs> I wasn't cheating because I never got caught. They never caught me. Second and 11 for the Huskies. Baldy under center. Baldy rolling, rolling, rolling. He's going to keep it. He's across the 40-yard line, and he is taken down. Good pursuit again by that Maryland defense. They have to admire the patience of first-year offensive coordinator Matt Canada not getting upset. But going down early, this continues to run their game plan, mixing in the option. Michael Turner averaging five yards per carry, throwing the control passing game. Want to control the football. As we were talking to a few of the Northern coaches prior to the game, they said, hey, if we can stay in this ball game and be close in the fourth quarter, we think, much like last year, we got a chance to come up with an upset. You know, Joe Novak's first game as a head coach ever was at Maryland, and they led 6-3 at the half, lost 30-6. to Baldy is lit up as he throws. Absolutely annihilating. Tremendous pressure by Maryland. Wow. Baldy stood in there in the face of a tremendous rush, and I think it was Foxworth who got in there and just dealt him. DJ Fleck had a chance, was a bit open, but Josh Haldy had no time. You're gonna see a lot of that tonight from Maryland. They believe they can come after this young, inexperienced offensive line in Northern and take advantage of it. And Gallagher puts a punt high in the air and he's gonna try and knock it out and it will be caught. And Maryland will be tackled at the 13-yard line and a flag from flying in late. I don't believe they gave JoJo Walker adequate space to catch this ball. Somebody needs to show JoJo how to wave his hand in the air for a fair catch. Maybe not. It's worked out for him so far. So far. Now, will they be calling him for a fair catch and then trying to run with it or for Northern not giving space? And they're going to get I Northern Illinois again. That answers your question. There you go. And against a team as good as Maryland, you cannot make the mistakes. You cannot, like this. especially in the kicking game. You have to take care of the football, you have to limit your penalties, and you have to win the Head battle ball. field position. Personal foul. From the end of the run, first down. A 15 yard penalty from the end of the return. So a big break for Maryland, rather than starting deep in their own end. You take a look at the replay. They actually gave him adequate space to catch the ball. I'm not so sure what the violation was myself. McBrien under center at the first and 10 from Maryland at the 27-yard line. Hand off to Allen. He tries to turn the corner, and he is belted by Randy Drew. Well, Maryland's doing a nice job right now sealing the end of the line. Bernie Fiddler, first-year starter, came back and hit the best at the end of the line of scrimmage of this Husky team. Creating space for Josh Allen, who you said earlier, just has tremendous speed. See Randy Drew. We talked with Ralph Friesen the other night, and he said, I really like 18. He said, I think his name is Drew, but I really like him. I watch a lot of tape. This kid can play. We'll see if Maryland tries to test him at all with his great quicks. There's a dump pass for Maryland, and they are going to be very close to a first up. Football is loose. The football is loose, and the Huskies have recovered it. A well-disguised dump pass by Maryland, but a good hit for Northern Illinois. And let's see who they give it to. Northern says they have it, and the officials agree. 28 takeaways last year from this Husky defense. They're the attack 4-3. Just great pursuit right there. 
They run him down. He drops the ball. Nick Duffy, just an outstanding football player, may have come up with it. Josh Allen, as he leaves his feet, he gets blown up, and the ball goes flying, and the Huskies recover it, so they're in business. So just inside the Maryland 40. Just an effort play from Vincent Reynolds running down Josh Allen. Josh Malden drops straight back, looks to throw. He's pressured. He's going to run, and he is belted at the 43. I can't tell you how impressed I am with that quickness that Maryland has on the interior of their defense. Yeah, they're going to have to stack it in here, Northern, if they're going to drop back and throw the ball at all with any frequency because they're going to get Josh Haldy killed. They're just too big, Maryland is, up front. Try to go hat on hat with them and just play a physical man-on-man -man game. It'll be interesting to see if Michael Turner runs in here in a second and seven. We'll Once again, you you'll see two more, tight ends as well. A little bit more about Michael Turner because, folks, this guy is legit. He's one of the best running backs in college football. And Turner does get the handoff, and he advances it across the 35 before he is knocked down as we kick down toward the end of our first quarter. Get these on it. Candidate for All-American, Heisman, Dope Walker Running Back Award, the Walter Camp Award, the Maxwell Trophy, last year's rushing total. He was not the starter on opening night against Wake Forest. His season total, the 13th best single season rushing total in NCAA history. And it's six foot tall and 228 pounds and a legit 4-4. This young man will play on Sunday. Yes, he will. He is a big time back. We will take a break. You see the shirt. They call him Turner the Burner. And he burnt Maryland. And get this game even, we'll find out. 7 nothing Turks. In football and in life, experience is the best teacher. Luckily, the best experience I'm getting in college is the NIU experience. I'm studying with dedicated professors in a program that's nationally ranked and I'm applying what I learned to real-world business issues. So when I leave NIU with my degree in accountancy, I'll be a top recruit for companies that value real-world know-how. Get a step ahead. Get the NIU experience. Want to be driven by what's inside, but you want to save lots of this? Then you want this guy. Big Joe for Grant Dean Subaru. That's me. Grant Dean Subaru has over 600 vehicles in stock, like this 2003 WRX sedan fully equipped, just $21,495. When you want to save this, and you want a name you can trust, you want Big Joe. That's me. Big Joe. And you want him at Grant Dean Subaru, Route 41 and Park Avenue West in Highland Park. This is college football. Bob Stoops has Oklahoma eyeing another title. The top-ranked Sooners kick off their 2003 campaign against North Texas. College football Saturday on Fox Sports Now. The pennant chase is on. Clay Thomas and the White Sox know that every game counts and look to tame the Tigers during their showdown in Motown. White Sox, Tigers, tomorrow at 5.30 on Fox Sports Now. The biggest stars are on the best damn sports show, period. Please welcome Samuel Jackson tonight on Fox Sports Net. Welcome back to Brigham Field at Husky Stadium. NIU is down seven to Maryland, and the running game is working for the Huskies, even though they haven't put any points on the board. Michael the Burner Turner is doing his thing on the field. The very first possession, he had two carries for 11 yards. So far, he has seven carries for 32 yards in this first quarter. Back to you guys upstairs. Thank you, Gail. That's right, we'll watch Michael Turner all night. This guy is legit. He's got a good website, TurnerTheBurner.com. They've done a wonderful job publicizing him here. And as we told you on the other side, several players on the Maryland ball club, candidates for national honors. Two, two good programs. You're going to see Steve Hazer right here attempt a 52-yard field goal. And he has made these. He's a candidate for the Luke Rozo Award for the top kicker in the country. The snap, the set down, the kick has the distance, and it is good. Cut into the Maryland lead with 14.51 left. It's Maryland 7 and the Huskies 3. That's what you have to do. You have to take advantage of the other team's turnovers. And as you said, Steve Azar, a very good kicker, accurate with a great leg. 
What a huge lift for this Husky ball club. Well, next week, Maryland is going to be at Florida State, one of their arch rivals. Coming up on Beyond the Glory, Bobby Bowden went to Florida State and built a dynasty, but critics claim that he sold a bit of his soul every Saturday, and winning a championship proved to be his toughest task. Beyond the Glory shows you the Bobby Bowden you've never known. Sunday at 9 p.m. only on Fox Sports Net. That is a tremendous series. I just watched the Mike Tyson series. I mean, it's just outstanding the access that they get in the, the whole portrayal. Bobby is a legend down there, but if he doesn't return that Florida State team to glory, they may decide to go in a different direction eventually. Everyone's replaceable, as you see. Steve Azer with a Husky record 52-yard field goal. When we were there a year ago, at the end of the first half, he kicked a 51 As I said, a, a huge lift for this Northern squad right now. Well, that got the crowd a little bit fired up. They are into it, waving their Anaheim Angels thunder sticks. JoJo Walker is the deep man for Maryland as Azar will get ready to kick it away. Jojo Walker has it, thinks about it, says no. I will take it at the 20. Well, it's interesting ball game, Tom. Northern has proved that they can run the football. Yep. They've taken care of it, and then they capitalize on the turnover. But this is a very good Maryland team. They're legit, ranked number 15. Well, this is an outstanding squad that has a ton of returning starters from last year. Very big, very strong. I, I believe they were going to try to come out and muscle this Northern team. Northern has stood up to the pressure a little bit, but they've got to do a better job of taking care of the football, giving up fewer big plays, and taking advantage of field position. It's something they did on that last drive, and they came up with three points. But earlier, too many mistakes in, in a kicking game. And from McBride, Scott McBride today, we had questions with the groin pull that it was going to cause him a problem. He looked pretty versatile, able to roll out of the pocket. Uh, able to make his dump passes, step up and avoid pressure. I thought he did a very good job. He has been been evasive out there, but I think they still want to get the football in Josh Allen's hands. They'd like to get him 25, 25 carries tonight, uh, try to keep Scott McBride from getting re-injured with that, that growing problem. But, you know, this is a, an offense based on efficiency, and so far you take away the turnover, and they have been fairly efficient. And they do call a penalty on Northern Illinois, so Maryland elects to have them re-kick this time, Steve Azar will put it on the tee at the 30-yard line. Again, another mistake in the kicking game. Cannot have these types of mistakes against the team as good as Maryland. You look at penalties, nothing for Maryland. Four for 48 for Northern Illinois. This one is returnable. JoJo Walker at the 5. He is across the 15. He's out there at the 20, and he is knocked down. Good coverage for the Huskies. Javen Lee. 6'2 sophomore linebacker was the first man to put a hat on it. Fifteen yards on that return. 14-44 left. David Kaplan and former Chicago Bears star Tom Waddle here in DeKalb, Illinois. College football on Fox Sports Net. 7-3. The Maryland Terrapins have the lead. Nice crowd here. Capacity crowd of 30,000 or so here in DeKalb. McBrien looks, looks. McBrien's going deep. McBrien throws, and it is incomplete. Wow, that is the third time, Tom, that he has had his man deep, Jafar Williams, and he has not been able to come up with the football. Rob Lee with good coverage there. This one was a little bit underthrown. Scott McBrien not at fault the first two deep passes that were dropped by Maryland receivers. This one a little bit underthrown. Could blame that possibly on the groin injury, but Rob Lee did a nice job coming back, possibly getting a hand on that ball. McBrien throws a quick wide receiver screen, and that's going to be a first down for the Maryland Terrapins. A very well-executed play. Latrez Harrison, the 6'2", 223-pound senior, shifted two years ago to wide receiver, was a quarterback, and a big, strong, athletic kid. Yeah, they've had two big, strong veterans on the outside. 
Good idea for the Maryland offense. Go after the defensive back that just had to run 40 yards getting back into position. First and 10 at the 38-yard line of the turf. McBrien under center, single back. McBrien going to throw again, gets a little pressure, finds his man. Same combination, this time knocked out right at midfield. Latrez Harrison again makes the catch, two straight plays. Maryland's spreading out that northern defense right now. Taking away some of the blitzes that they like to do, and they're just matching up their wide receivers against these northern cornerbacks, and so far, advantage Maryland. Harrison says, get me a quick breather. You could use one, too. It's about 90 degrees up here. McBride going to throw, third straight play, and it nearly intercepted. Wow, that one had touchdown written all over it for the Huskies. Brian Atkinson stepped out the lane, put his hands up, and just couldn't corral. Well, that's a bad decision by Scott McBrien. Just throws it where there's a Husky defender, and it's nearly caught by JoJo Walker on the tip. Brian Atkinson, his nickname is The Beast, obviously The Beast. Doesn't have hands. Doesn't have hands. <laughs> he is going to by his teammates on that one. 14 24 to go. Huskies. Second quarter. Huskies maybe showing a little bit of pressure. Looks like Nick Duffy is going to try and get to the quarterback. And a good throw by McBride. Let's see if they call it. Yes, incomplete. Looks like it may have been dropped by Melendez. Dan Melendez, number 85. They say he has the best hands on the team. Well, Northern's taking some chances right now. They're coming after McBride. They're locking up their, their corners on these Maryland receivers. Guess they figured the best way to get to Scott McBride is through the blitz. He's not overly mobile right now because of the injury. And the Husky faithful get to their feet. Clap their thunder sticks. They want to see a stop. McBride is going to come out of the shotgun. Maryland will throw you so many different looks because of the Great offensive mind of Ralph Friedman, Charlie Taft, the coordinator. McBride's going to run with the football, and he will come up short of the first down, it appears, by a couple of yards. What do you do if you're Merrill? I think you send your punting team out because I see them coming onto the field, and, and once again, you try to win the battle of field position. Great protection from that Maryland front five, who covered from the Husky back seven. You see the, the athleticism from this Northern team, something that, that Coach Joe Novak has concentrated on, getting more talented players into the program, a much faster, bigger, stronger roster than in years past. Potlash, the punt again. This is his second punt of his college career. This one's gonna come down inside the 10-yard line. Maryland falls on it at the one we'll see what they where they spot it that ball should come back to where the ball was touched i thought it was touched Initially. around the 10. but it's early you know even the officials probably have some rust to knock off absolutely we have a sellout crowd here tonight at husky it's stadium it's not just some it is absolutely it is a little bit of trivia for you 1990 ni scored the most points ever against an ap top 25. who was that team are you asking me, or are we asking the folks at home watching? Well, the folks at home who just came home. After I don't want to ruin their surprise. Long day at work, they're relaxing, they have the air conditioning on, they had a good meal, and now they're watching some great college football on Fox Sports that we think come up with that answer. There's oh, the handoff the inside, there. there's the flags all over, yellow laundry all over the field here in DeKalb. Okay. You see Scott Smith pointing to himself, my mistake. That's a 15-yarder. Michael Turner brought down by his face mask. You'll see it right here. That's a big play for the Huskies. As we talked to earlier, Maryland first 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 not made the mistake. That's a big mistake because you had the Huskies first 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 Now you give them a 15-yard face mask. When the incidental face mask penalty is listed in the dictionary, that picture's not next to it. That's exactly right. And the Huskies, they'll take first downs any way they can get them right now. Andy Stark nearly jumped. Keith Perry man in motion. Hand off to Turner, and he is showing some escapability. Can he turn the corner? No, they're an outstanding pursuit. 
I thought they were going to nail him in the backfield, and he showed some shiftiness. But number 32 was corralled by a horrid observance. Well, no offense to the folks that play in the MAC, but you will see a different level of athlete in the ACC. And I think there is the example for Exhibit A right there. Michael Turner, an excellent athlete, but some equally fine athletic guys wearing the white jerseys tonight. Absolutely right. Josh Haldy. I believe he's going to get this play off. Play clock down to five, so he is Good going decision. to ask for time Timeout. rather than make a mistake. Northern Illinois, that's their second. That is their second timeout, so they are down to just one for the half. We'll come back on a good one. Oh, I have so many people to thank. All those folks behind the scenes who worked so hard to make my life a little bit easier. Jason, Claudia, Allison, making those amazing deals. And I'm talking deals. I mean, this baby saves people a whole lot of money. Yes, ma'am, that's what we do. <laughs> this preferred card is a really beautiful thing. For great value, Jewel, helping make your life easier. You gotta stop doing that. <laughs> Pro Football Weekly, Saturdays at 11 on Fox Sports Net. Thousands of the world's best triathletes will compete in Chicago. Only one will be crowned champion. Join Gail Fisher as we bring you the stories, updates, and insight into all the action. The 2003 Accenture Triathlon, September 7th on Fox Sports Net. I'm back to the first and hit with more power. I added three inches to my vertical. Conventional wisdom says athletes are born, not made. I'm Mark Crabtree telling you conventional wisdom is wrong. The proof is Explosion, the training program of the Bulls and White Sox. Every day at our academy, Explosion helps young athletes throw faster, hit harder, jump higher, and run faster. Explosion works for the pros, and it will work for you. For information about Explosion, call 630-PLAY-BALL or visit BullsSoxAcademy.com. White Sox, Tigers, tomorrow at 5.30 on Fox Sports Net. We are back, 7-3, Maryland, the 15th ranked Terrapins at Northern Illinois in DeKalb, Illinois. David Kaplan and Tom Waddle with you. In 1990, Northern Illinois scored the most points ever for them against the AP Top 25. Who was that team? Obviously, it was Fresno State. 73-18 to 18 here at Husky Field. Now Brigham Field at Husky Stadium. The handoff inside goes nowhere. Michael Turner. Let's take a look at the Maryland run defense because they are good. Well, they just have tremendous speed. They run sideline to sideline. Great athletes. They're also big up front. They have such talent in the secondary. Their safeties come up and fill the run well. Their corners are good in run support. Defensive coordinator Gary Black, they just have so many options with this crew. Nine returning starters from last year's crew that allowed less than 20 points per game, actually 16.3 points per game, this Maryland defense allowed. It is a third and 15. Haldy looking, looking, firing, and it is incomplete. Skips in to P.J. Black. So the Huskies will be forced to punt the football well, away. This is not where they want to be, third and long. Third and 14, third and 15. Once again, mistakes, penalties, giving up big plays, putting them in a hole, asking a whole lot of Josh Haldy and the Northern wide receivers against a very good second day. Anthony Gallagher is going to punt this one away. Anthony Gallagher punting for NIU. Joe Walker. So Joe Walker is deep. Gallagher gets a high driving kickoff. Joe Joe Walker turns the corner. He's across the 30. JoJo Walker is nailed at the 39. The Husky fans wanted a penalty on a block in the back, but it looked to be a pretty good block, I thought. Yeah, excellent special teams play by Maryland. Let's take a Walker look with great speed. Randy Drew comes down, swipes at him, can't get him. That's what we call a lookout block. Not quite as violent as I thought, looking at the replay, but good solid special teams for Maryland. Field position. Once again, Maryland is winning the battle. The field brand got a good reach in there at the end. Maryland's got the football. They're in business at the 39-yard line. They're only 39 with a 7-3 lead. 11 and a half minutes left in the second quarter. 
McGrime barking out signals. It's Fiddler in front of Josh Allen. In fact, Sammy Maldonado now in, and he gets the handoff, and Maldonado is nailed at the 43-yard line. Well, Maldonado's not going to go down easy. Six foot, 231 pounds, a transfer from Ohio State. He's the big back. They, use, they like to bring in kind of a change of pace guy. Fullback size, running back speed. And it's Maurice Smith now in at fullback, replacing Bernie Fiddler. So, whole new backfield. Smith and Sammy Maldonado. And a handoff again to Maldonado. And he is met in the hole by Nick Duffy. Still driving. And let's go down to the sidelines to our own Mitch Robinson. Hey, Dave and Tom, the story with Sandy Maldonado, uh, a sad one for him, actually. He transferred from, uh, for, from Ohio State, had to sit out last year and watch his former team win the national championship. I'm sure he's happy to get playing time here at Maryland, and they say it's really a toss-up between him and Allen at the number two spot. Both are very, very good facts. Back to you guys. And he is from the same hometown as one Ralph Freakin, Harrison, New York. It's a third and three for the Maryland Terrapins. Harrison, the man in motion. McBrien rolls. McBrien looks. McBrien hit. McBrien hit again. McBrien is going down. Short of the first down. And we'll see if Maryland elects to put the ball in the hands of their punter. It looks like they will. A little surprising that Maryland just didn't line up to try to play smash mouth football and get it with the run. Scott McBrien showing no signs of that groin injury. But here comes that attack 4 3 defense from the Huskies, relentless. Lionel Hickenbottom showing no signs of last year's knee injury. Comes up with a big stop. Adam Hotless will pump it away again. Dan Sheldon, the game breaker, they like to call him in DeKalb, is the deep man. 11 catches, 30 yards or longer a year ago. Took several kicks back for touchdowns. And there's Sheldon, and he is belted at the 15. I admire, Great coverage, Barry. I admire the courage of these return men tonight, but... Now, he wears gloves. You can see as he comes off. Dan Sheldon has gloves on. You also returned punch for the Bears and was for a well, wide receiver. Did you wear gloves? I didn't wear gloves. The weather was quite cold in Chicago most of the time, so I couldn't feel with the, those leather gloves when they froze. Take a look at the Northern Illinois quarterback, Josh Halby. And there he is finding Dan Sheldon. Look at his numbers from last season. And Dan Sheldon was a, an excellent find for them last year, a breakout season. Five touchdowns, average almost 20 yards per catch. Ball the under center with Turner, the single back, the handoff to Turner. Turner shakes one tackler. Turner tries to turn the corner. And great pursuit again by the Terrapins. Outstanding pursuit. Yeah. Northern's just getting no push from their offensive line right now. They put Brad Cieslek on the left side trying to help out with the young, small, inexperienced left side of the Northern offensive line. They're just getting stood up at the point of attack. And as I said earlier, Michael Turner, as good an athlete as he is, can't run away from everybody. Well, Jamal Cochran is the man who comes in and makes the tackle here. Do you know that he squats 765 pounds? Reminds me a lot of myself. God. Baldy looking, looking, firing down the field, and he finds Flex! Puck at the 45-yard line. Outstanding catch. Well, that's a fortunate play for Northern because Brad Cecilic, the tight end, and B.J. Fleck running down the field about two yards apart. Baldy does an outstanding job evading the rush. Fleck missed most of last year with a hamstring injury. A very productive wide receiver. Makes the tough catch to get the big first down. And see. that will give the Huskies some breathing room. There's Hall. He evades the sack and then makes a great throw. And Fleck goes up and gets it. Brad C. Select was running interference for us there. Hall under center. He is going to throw again. Dumps it off to Michael Turner. Turner across the 40. Turner. Across the 30, the 20, the back, Michael Turner is caught at the six-yard line. Outstanding run by Turner. Now we talked about it earlier. You have an attack defense like Maryland. They're big, they're fast, they're coming after this northern offense. A well-designed screen play takes the steam out of that front seven of Maryland. A great block right there from a wide receiver, Sam Hurd. He gets another one from P.J. Fleck. 
and only the athleticism of Madhu Williams runs down Michael Turner. Madhu Williams, we were talking with some of the coaches and people from Maryland, they said he will play on Sunday. Yes, he will. What a great play for the Huskies. First and goal for the Huskies at the six-yard line. Balding, rolling, rolling, will keep it and absolutely lit up. Randy Starks and a pack of his friends right there in the middle of it. Boy, I watch this guy as they're standing next to him. This guy is an NFL player. Well, I think when you time. see him, if you're Josh Aldi and you're trying to run the option or a little quarterback draw, you want to want to run away from him. I don't want him on the same no, field I as don't, me. No, I don't. I don't. He's a big well, man. He's on my team. I tell you what, though, Josh Aldi showing tremendous poise and also a whole lot of toughness out here tonight. Taking care of the football, making good decisions. Second down and goal for Northern. Haldy going to throw. Hit by Flow. Oh, and it's a touchdown. Oh, what a great yeah, job dragging his foot. Oh, Husky. I'm not so sure he was in, but what a great catch. A fabulous play by number 82, P.J. Fleck. And the Huskies have grabbed the lead, pending the PAT. It is 9-7. Northern Illinois will take a look at a replay. Oh, he and did yes, he drag did. the foot. What a wow. great catch from P.J. Fleck. A productive wide receiver. This makes a great catch. Holdy throws it in the only spot Fleck can get it. Azar's extra point splits the upright. And with 7.15 left, the crowd is alive and percolating. Maryland now trails for the first time all evening and 7 North 37 North. I like it, I love it, I want some more of it. It keeps on coming, can't get enough of it. Don't know how they do it down at Applebee's, but I like it, I love it, I want some more of it. Get all you can eat of Applebee's new rib tips. But don't wait too long, because this deal will be gone before you can say, I like it, I love it, I want some more of it. Keep them good in the neighborhood. Sammy Sosa and the Cubs look to keep their pennant hopes alive when they face Richie Sexton and the big bats of the Brew Crew. Cubs, Brewers, Saturday at 2.30 on Fox Sports Net. Tonight on the best damn sports show, period. Bad boy Ron Artest is back as the chaos in the Hoosier State caused his temper to flare. Plus, Sooners coach Bob Stoops on the curse of being number one. Coming up after the game. Look who showed up early. Which one to make you look bad? Checking my email, actually. On your MP3 player. Yeah. Oh. I guess that means you won't be needing this? No. No? What? That's my laptop. The Kyocera smartphone. Email, PDA, MP3 player. This is one smartphone. Well, Northern Illinois has grabbed the lead 10-7 over Maryland. Tom, tell us a little bit about how this well, play developed. I'm going to try this little tool here, the Telestrator. You've got Dan Shelton out here. He's going to come in, set what we call a pick for P.J. Fleck. He's going to come up around, and you'll see Josh Haldy find the open spot. P.J. Fleck just with an outstanding grab and the presence of mind to drag his foot. But... And back to live action, JoJo Walker catches the kickoff from Steve Azar, and he is nailed at the 35-yard line from Maryland back in business. Pretty good field position. I called, carefully called that a pick, a legal pick. If Not you so don't sure get caught, you say exactly. it's legal. Exactly. So exactly. there you have it, folks. A well-designed play. So does that mean that if I speed on the way home and I don't get a ticket, I wasn't breaking the law? I have no comment on that. You're the one that has the wife who was due two days ago. You may be speeding on the way home. You're right about that. By the way, Fleck, 50 yards, five catches, and a touchdown tonight. Maryland back in business now. And the handoff to Josh oh. Allen, and he is lit up at the line of scrimmage. I would say Maryland's getting a wake-up call right now. They play solid football in the MAC. This northern program, Did you know a very good program under Joe Novak. 
Rob Lee with excellent support from his corner position. You know that Maryland has only played one other game in the history of the program, as you look at Ralph Friedgen. One time if they come to the land of Lincoln, to Illinois, and they lost to the University of Chicago way back in the 20s. I believe it was 21 to nothing. You were a junior in high school then, didn't you? See ya. Second and 10, McBride barking out. Signals to his offense. McBride's going to throw, Nick Duffy oh. with pressure, and McBride's fortunate to get rid of it. Nick Duffy all over him. Maryland should know by now this northern defense is going to take some chances. They're going to come up with some big plays, but if you are patient, and Ralph Regent is a patient man and a great offensive mind, he knows that that northern defense will expose themselves to the big play. Right now, Northern's getting the best of it. They leave Maryland with a third and 10, exactly where they want to be. That's the defense. A third and 10 situation. McBride's going to come out of the shotgun. An obvious passing down for the Terps. McBride dropping back. McBride going to fire across the middle, and that is caught. Oh, my goodness. A tip and a catch. McBrien gets it back. McBrien catches his own pass. And let's see if he's got the first down. I don't believe he does. I think he's short. Check this out. He does a great job stepping up in the pocket. Dumps it off to Josh Allen, who gets whacked. and has the presence of mind to bring it in. A one-handed catch. Great athletic move, but I believe he's going to be short. And here comes the Maryland punt team. And Maryland's going to punt it away. I'll tell you what, both quarterbacks tonight we saw the block from Halsey. Yep. Mr. McBride with presence of mind to get back down the field and come up with that tip. Two smart signal callers in tonight's ball game. Bob Les will punt it away. Dan Sheldon is deep. The officials look like they're trying to restore some order inside. Talk about trivia. That reminds me of a trivia question. Who was on the receiving end of Brett Favre's first pass? First completion. I will say Sterling Sharp. You are wrong, Brett Favre. That's correct. I should have picked up when you were asking. You're not real sharp tonight, are you? I'm too focused. I'm too locked in on the ball game. The officials are talking. What are they discussing, Tom? I'm thinking a post-game meal, possibly, because I don't know what they could be talking about. The ball was tipped by another Maryland player. I don't believe it's an illegal touch on behalf of Scott McBrien. We're going to look at Ralph Friedgen. He was the consensus national coach of the year one season ago. Now, this Please is the previous play. Please the game clock. McBrien does a nice job stepping seconds. up. Okay, what we're being told now is it is a clock problem, not a mistake on the field and McBrien after firing the ball over the middle did a wonderful job to come up with the loose football following your pass that's exactly right kind of like following your shot in basketball exactly. Joe Novak has to be pleased with the way his Huskies have played especially in the second quarter here they could have folded after Maryland went up seven zip quick but they really have responded Tells you a lot about this Northern Illinois football program that really, as I was saying earlier, has come a long way. Not only are they a more talented group, but they believe they're ready to take the next step. Well, the number 41 holds tremendous significance for the Northern program. Toledo scored with 41 seconds left here at Husky Stadium to beat Northern for the Mid-American Conference Championship. So they decided to use the number 41 as that punt sails deep. Dan Sheldon will watch it, and it's going to spin back like a nine-iron outstanding kick by Podlesh inside the 10. And Dan Sheldon did the right thing. You put your heels on the 10-yard line. Anything beyond the 10, you let it go. Mike Ditka talked to that, didn't he? Somebody did. Maybe earlier than that. You didn't want Mike Ditka chewing you up. Anyway, the number 41 because Toledo scored the 41 seconds left, they decided to incorporate that into their program. They did workouts for 41 seconds, different drills. They ran 41 yards. The number 41 has been burned in their memory. They have a sign-up about the number 41. They'd like to score 41 points tonight. I think they would. 
Josh Haldy under center. He's going to hand it off to Michael Turner. Michael Turner is corralled at the 10. Again, tremendous penetration by the Maryland interior defense. Maryland has found a way to slow down Michael Turner in the running game. Michael Turner in the running game, excuse me. But as I said earlier, this Northern Illinois football team recognizing that they were getting beat at the point of attack on the left side of their offensive line. They're now running out of a lot of two tight end sets, trying to protect their young left offensive tackle. Second down, and Josh Halby ducks under center. And he's going to hand it again to Michael Turner, and Michael Turner will pick up a couple of yards. Again, good pursuit by Maryland. They are definitely locked in, Tom, on Michael Turner. They're calling Turner the burner. He's on the front page of the sports section of USA Today. today. And so what Maryland's coaching staff did, very smart, they got a copy of that sports section for every guy on the team. And they said, this is the guy. Are you tired of hearing about him yet? You better know where he is tonight. Well, they've shut him down in the second quarter. They've here. done a wonderful job. Gary Blackney's defense has really come to play. Haldy out of the shotgun. And Haldy is going to be sacked. Football's loose, but I think they've already blown it dead. Yes, they have. But big play for the Maryland defense. Smith and company inside. Knock Haldy to the turf. They'll spot it actually at the six, and Northern Illinois will have to get off a punt from deep in their own end zone. Yeah, it just looks like young offensive tackle Doug Free gets beaten right there by Scott Smith. The ball loose, they call it down. Again, that's a battle that more times than not, Northern is gonna lose. Scott Smith had back surgery a year ago, has come back very, very well from that. JoJo Walker catches it at the 40. JoJo Walker up near midfield, breaks a tackle, breaks another. There is yellow laundry on the field. We'll find out what the penalty is. Good solid return into Northern Illinois territory. They'll spot it at the 47 yard line. We'll find out what the penalty is. Someone wearing a white jersey did something illegal. How's that? Is that a little vague for you? It's a hold on Maryland. So they will take this return Backwards. Pretty safe bet from where that flag was thrown. That's someone on Maryland's return team. Going to return. We have an illegal block in the back. Above the waist. By the return team. Ten yards from the spot. From the end of the run. First down. Nothing chaps the backside of a college football coach than a silly mistake like that. We're going to take a timeout. We'll come back. Don't you go anywhere because we got a whale of a ball game for you here on Fox Sports Connect. morning. Get the inside track from the pre-race show that'll have your motor running before the green flag drops. With interviews and in-depth analysis, shift your race days into high gear. NASCAR this morning on Fox Sports Net. Use your head this summer and join the camp that really kicks. If you're between the ages of 4 and 17, Soccer Made in America training camps can teach you the soccer skills you'll need to stay ahead of the competition. From technical to tactical sessions and psychological and individual skill breakdowns, you get it all. If you want to become a better soccer player, make Soccer Made in America training camps your first goal. And you can be sure it won't be your last. For more information, call 630-257-6900 or log on to SMIA.com. This special edition of College Football Saturday on Fox Sports Net brought to you by the Kyocera Smartphone. This is one smartphone. By Infinity, makers of innovative, high-performance premium vehicles. And by Polaris, the way out. Back to live action, handoff inside. 
and Maryland will advance it, I believe, to about the 47. I think it was Allen. As you get a look at Joe Novak, Joe Novak was the defensive coordinator here back in the early 80s when Bill Mallory led Northern Illinois out of the doldrums into the California Bowl in a MAC championship. He then went to Indiana with Bill Mallory. Do you know Coach Mallory's at home tonight in Bloomington, Indiana, and he's watching this game. One of the finest people I've ever met in college sports and one whale of football. I'm very proud of Joe Novak. Yes, he is. He has quite a group of sons come through Time out. that were fine football players. Now, that's their first team timeout. He came uh, today. We were down on the sidelines, and a guy walked up. And said, "You don't remember me, but we met a long time ago." Vince Scott, who was a great kicker on that team, he now lives in Bloomington. I just want to know if Vince could drive up here. Why did Coach Mallory pile in the car? Didn't want to spring for the gas. I don't know. Come on up. I have no idea behind his motivation for staying home. I will tell you this. I expect He's Maryland. actually leaving on a trip in the morning. I with, thought I'd take a shot at it. With less than three minutes to go in the second quarter and good field position, I think you'll see them. Now I'm, I could be completely incorrect here, but I, I would think they would go into a smash mouth mode here. Try and grind it Try out. Try to grind it out a little bit. Obviously, you have to be aware of the clock and push the ball downfield a little bit. But certainly, take advantage of, of the size mismatch they have right now. Allen is the single back. McBrien out of the shotgun. Barking out his signals. And it looks like Northern saying Maryland jumped, and Maryland is pointing and saying that Northern jumped across the line. We'll find out what the officials say. And it is an illegal procedure on Maryland. So move them back five yards. You see all the activity from the northern defense. You got this Maryland front five a little jumpy. Center Kyle Schmidt a little quick with the the snap. Never really got it back to McBrien, but started the move. Second and six for Merrill. Now second and 11 after the penalty. McBride fires the wide receiver screen and an outstanding tackle by Randy Drew. Just a great athletic play by Randy Drew. Not the biggest guy in the world, an excellent cover man. Randy, dandy Randy, they call him right there, slips the block from Latrez Harrison and just makes a great open field tackle. Maryland gets a lot of credit for their experience and talent of secondary. Well, Northern's got four guys back there that can play as well. Nick Duffy, the middle linebacker, looking like he wants to show some pressure, Tom. McBrien on the shotgun. Straight drop, looking, looking, fires downfield, and it oh. is incomplete. Randy Drew absolutely drilled JoJo Walker. Well, JoJo Walker's got to make this play. Scott McBrien's getting no help from his wide receivers tonight. Maryland now 0 for 5 on third downs. Pretty good delivery. Ball that's got to be caught. Yeah, I think he heard some footsteps, don't you? Well, that's no excuse come uh, film session tomorrow about 9 a.m. Now Northern will get the ball back with two minutes to go. They've got a chance. Dan Sheldon, gloves and all, is the defense. I just never had a good feel for gloves, especially when it would get cold out. That leather would freeze. I always thought you had a better feel for just your your now, natural skin. When you played stick, it was illegal, correct? That is correct. I'm old, but I'm not that old. Looks Coming like Randy, Randy Drew, actually, a fine corner for Northern. Take it up banged up on the play. Coming up at halftime, there will be a feature on Northern Illinois University's rise to prominence, how they built this program. Halftime highlights and stats. Tom will clean up the big bottle of water he just spilled, and we'll have a locker room report for you here on Fox Sports Net. Low and snap, come. and Podlesh gets it away. Outstanding play to catch that and get rid of it, and it will go out of bounds right around the 20-yard line. That was a fine play by that punter. 
Northern Illinois a year ago, 27 scoring drives in under two minutes last season. They have the big playability, quick strike ability, but again, field position. Huskies got to feel great about being up 10 to 7 right now. They have started an average starting point of their own 22 yard line and still making progress against this very good Maryland defense. Get a look at Haldy. Done an excellent job taking care of the football tonight, despite the pressure from Maryland down in and down out. They have not turned the ball over. Baldy hands it off to Michael Turner, tries to pick his way across the 20 to around the 22. Not a bad decision. Of course, you'd like to score some points here, but at the same time, to go into the locker room against the preseason rated 13th team in the nation, uh, not a bad first half of football for the Huskies. They look content to take their time, not make any big mistakes. They may take a shot downfield, but certainly they do not want to give the ball back to Maryland. Right now, Michael Turner, and you've got to credit the Maryland defense, 14 carries yep. for 40 yards. They have solved that problem. Josh Haldy under center, and he will hand it again to Michael Turner. Turner bangs his way near and the you're gonna 25. See, you're going to see Maryland take a timeout right here. Good decision by Ralph Friedgen. Yes, they will. Huskies look content, like I said, to go into the locker room with a 10-7 halftime lead. Maryland would like to take one more shot at taking it in before we get to halftime. Ralph Friedgen is an absolutely tremendous coach, an offensive guru. But when I talked to him the other day, he said, when I came in, we had some guys living in apartments and everybody was fractured. Yep. He said, I moved them all back in. I wasn't the most popular guy for doing it. But we instilled some discipline that he thought the program needed. And you cannot argue with his results. This man has been a fabulous builder of that Maryland program. And he's done it in literally overnight fashion, Tom. You said this year, his third year, That's right. was when they thought they could start to play with the big boys. Last year, 11 and 3, throttled. Tennessee, a powerhouse every year, 30 to three, I believe, or 31 to three, in the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. And now this year, they believe after losing E.J. Henderson, the Buckus Award winner, they believe that they're a better football team this year once they get everybody back and healthy. Yeah. They're missing some key guys tonight, including Bruce Perry. And a big reason is Scott McBrien, who, for the first time in Ralph Friedgen's era, is a returning starting quarterback and that adds so much continuity to what you're trying to do on offense not having to try to fill that quarterback role each and every year it's a good football team a team that should contend for the acc title third and five Haldy's going to roll he's going to fire he looks nice. for fleck and he has made the catch and that is it looks like a first down talk about a guy knowing where the sticks are bj fleck Goes right to the sticks and makes the catch for a first down for Northern Illinois. He's having a whale of a ball game right now. As we said earlier, missed most of last season with a hamstring problem. Just a quick out. Holdy throws it in a spot where only Fleck can catch it. And again, it looks like Northern just content to go into halftime with a 10-7 lead. would rather try something downfield. Josh Aldi says, nope, I don't think so. Well, I think if you would have pulled the fans prior to kickoff and you suggested to them that the Huskies would be leading 10 to 7 at halftime, I don't think you would hear many boos or I think they would all agree that it would be an outstanding first 30 minutes of football if they could do that, and that's exactly what they've done. Well, we will go to the locker room now. Just keep in mind, Joe Novak's first game as a head coach was in College Park against the Maryland Terrapins. Northern went to the locker room with a decidedly inferior club back then, eight years ago, with a 6-3 lead. Maryland won the game 30-6. We will find out in eight years, recruiting, building a program, have changed things, plus playing in DeKalb for the Huskies. The 15th ranked Terrapins on the short end right now of a 10-7 score. Let's go to Mitch Robinson with Ralph Friedrich. All right, thanks a lot, Coach. The first touchdown came so easily. The offense kind of sputtering. What adjustments are you going to make in the second half? Uh, we got some plays over. We're just not making any plays. And give uh, NIU credit. They are making the plays, and we're not. Uh, 
right now we got to go back and regroup and uh, we got to you know make up our minds what we're going to do here we're going to go out and just uh, show up or we're going to start playing on the uh, flip side your defense has shut down their heisman trophy hopeful but uh, their passing game seems to be heating up well we miss a guy on a blitz and then they make a big play uh you know we don't make a play they make a play that's why they're winning they're making plays and we're not all right go get them coach thanks a lot all right stay with us halftime just getting underway right here at fox sports net reports from both locker rooms and so much more we'll be right back Subway, we put passion back in fashion. So, how was lunch, Bob? Magnifico! Try Subway's savory Caesar chicken, the taste of a Caesar salad in a sub. Roasted chicken breast, rich Caesar dressing, crunchy croutons, and Parmesan cheese on fresh-baked gourmet bread. Subway's savory Caesar chicken sub. Subway, eat fresh. Try Subway's new savory Caesar chicken sub and receive a free movie or game rental voucher when you rent one at Blockbuster. Subway, eat fresh. Come in, Edge phone. Is your phone broken, Joe? No, my wireless company doesn't give me enough anytime minutes. Hey, yeah, cool. <laughs> hey, call me back later. Where? Yo, Stick, we hanging out tonight? Yeah. Call me on Stick's phone. For award-winning customer service and all the minutes you need, switch to U.S. Cellular. Yeah, you'll get the minutes you need to use your own phone. U.S. Cellular, we connect with you. I have so many people to thank. All those folks behind the scenes who worked so hard to make my life a little bit easier. Jason, Claudia, Allison, making those amazing deals. And I'm talking deals. I mean, this baby saves people a whole lot of money. Yes, ma'am, that's what we do. <laughs> this preferred card is a really beautiful thing. For great value, Jewel, helping make your life easier. You've got to stop doing that. <laughs> Only one place can have the largest Honda model year-end clearance in Chicagoland. The Midwest's largest volume Honda dealer, Schaumburg Honda Automobiles. More than 1,100 Accords, Civics, CRVs, and more available. 1.9 APR for 60 months. There's only one, Bob Rorman. Chicagoland's largest Honda model year-end clearance exclusively at Bob Rorman's Schaumburg Honda Automobiles. Eight blocks west of Woodfield Mall on Golf Road, Schaumburg. Totally NASCAR. Your season-long destination for everything that is NASCAR. Weeknights on Fox Sports Net. Sammy Sosa and the Cubs look to keep their pennant hopes alive when they face Richie Sexton and the big bats of the Brew Crew. Cubs, Brewers, Saturday at 2.30 on Fox Sports Net. I'm faster to first and hit with more power. I added three inches to my vertical. Conventional wisdom says athletes are born, not made. I'm Mark Crabtree telling you conventional wisdom is wrong. The proof is Explosion, the training program of the Bulls and White Sox. Every day at our academy, Explosion helps young athletes throw faster, hit harder, jump higher, and run faster. Explosion works for the pros, and it will work for you. For information about Explosion, call 630-PLAY-BALL or visit BullsSoxAcademy.com. Your season-long destination for everything that is NASCAR. Weeknights on Fox Sports Net. Welcome back to Brigham Field at Husky Stadium, where the Northern Illinois Huskies lead the 15th-ranked Maryland Terrapins 10 to 7. NIU trying to gain national respect and knock off a ranked team, and they are doing it so far. It's hard to believe that just five years ago, NIU was one of the worst teams in the country. They certainly are one of the better teams this season. And Brad Hoey tells us exactly how Joe Novak helped turn this program around. Few running backs in the country can finish like NIU's Michael Turner. The handoff, Michael Turner. Turner to the 10, Turner to the 5, and Turner on a straight touchdown. Over to the door. Michael Turner. Blessed with 4-4, 40-yard speed, the burner can outrun most defenders. To the end zone. Touchdown, Michael Turner. But at a rock-solid 228 pounds, Turner also has the power to run through them. 
After setting the Mid-American Conference single season rushing mark last year, Turner knows he'll be a marked man in 2003. I know he's going to be a target on my back, and, uh, you know, that's what I wanted. You know, I want people to notice me and uh, make people know that I'm out there on the field. So it's what I wanted, so uh, I'm just going to go and prepare and try to do my best. Michael Turner isn't the only Husky with a target on his back. Northern Illinois is picked to win the Mid-American Conference this season, so the entire league has the Huskies in its crosshairs. Although new to such a claim, Joe Novak and his team welcome the attention. It sure beats where they were five years ago. I'll be honest with you. We were 0-23 there for a while. I had some doubts. I mean, I think that's normal. And uh, there were times I was wavering a little bit. But I, if we did anything right, I think we stayed with our plan. And I believed in it. I, I felt this way. If we were going to be successful, I wanted to make sure we did it our way. I didn't, you know, I didn't want to fail doing it somebody else's way. NIU has a solid program now, and we are just getting started on this Nissan Halftime Report. Your halftime score, NIU 10, Maryland 7. We'll have some stats and highlights when we come back. Come on, Mr. Culver, keep them coming. Okay. Pat Bennett. Club salad, no mushrooms. Pat A. Bennett. Hot and spicy chicken salad, no olives. Patricia Bennett. A grilled chicken cashew salad, perfect as is. Great job, Kevin. I get a lot of practice, Mr. Culver. People love a salad made fresh to order. Rachel Kamen. Garden salad ranch dress. Beer store. Hot and spicy chicken sandwich. Salad. <laughs> Hot and spicy. Adam A. Abbott. Okay, I can do this. Try a Culver's custom creation salad today. L.A. Tan, the first to introduce Mystic Tan in Illinois. Mystic Tan gives you that sexy bronze tan, UV free, in less than 60 seconds. L.A. Tan offers VIP memberships starting at $9.99 a month. Tan free every day. L.A. Tan has over 35 locations in the Chicagoland area. For the location nearest you, visit our website, latan.com, or call 877-GO-LA-TAN. A mechanical contractor designs, installs, repairs, and maintains the piping systems that deliver your gasoline, heat and cool your buildings, and deliver life-saving oxygen to medical patients. Those responsibilities belong only in the hands of trained professionals. The contractors of the Chicago MCA employ workers with the best training available. Aren't these the professionals you want on your construction or maintenance job? The MCA and Local 597, taking on tomorrow. We're gonna drive on down the road. All I wanna do is drive. There's a lot of things to see in life, and you can trust Discount Tire Company to take you there. They carry the world's best brands, like Michelin, Via Goodrich, and Uniroyal. And their quality of service shows why customer satisfaction is still number one. So come drive through life with Discount Tire Company. All I wanna do is drive. The question is, A, why here? B, why now? C, why not? Life beckons, and you're holding the key. If you're losing your hair, how would you like a free month supply of Abacor? Huh? That's right. We're giving away an additional one month supply of Abacor absolutely free with today's orders. Did you know thousands of people just like you have reversed their hair loss thanks to Avacor? Imagine going from this to this. When I started to notice my hair thinning, I took action with Avacor. It stopped my hair loss. I'm regrowing my hair. It's worth every penny. Before you spend thousands on painful hair restoration procedures, why not give us a call and let Avacor regrow your hair the easy way without paying a fortune? Avacor is so effective, it's guaranteed for up to one full year. Isn't it time you regain that youthful appearance? The sooner you order, the sooner Avacor can start regrowing your hair. Call 800-711-4525. Remember, order today to get an extra month supply for free. That's 800-711-4525. Welcome back. We are at the half. The Northern Illinois Huskies, a 10-7 lead over the 15th ranked Maryland Terrapins of the American Conference. Are you shocked? The ACC. No, I'm not shocked. I thought it'd be a whale of a football game. I guess I'm shocked that Northern has really been the opportunistic team. No question. Maryland, the bigger, stronger team, but Ralph Friedgen said it to Mitch Robinson coming off, Tom. They're making plays, and we're not. He hit the nail on the head. 
two occasions, Maryland receivers had the opportunity to catch long balls for touchdowns. They dropped the pass. No one's helping Scott McBrien out there. Conversely, with this Huskies team, you saw a great screen pass. Uh, Michael Turner took it down the length of the field, and then they get in. P.J. Fleck with an outstanding catch for six points. I, I know that Joe Novak's probably not 100% happy with the way this team has played. From a, a special team standpoint, they've made some mistakes. They're not converting third downs very frequently, and they're not running the football very well. But right now, to lead this Maryland team 10-7, to got to be pretty happy in the locker room. Well, let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Maryland got rolling early. Josh Allen, no problem here. Sir. Well, he gets in very easy, and I think Maryland thinks maybe this is going to be a walk in the park. Let's concentrate on next week's game against Florida State. But guess what? This Northern team is game. They create a turnover. Then Steve Azer with a school record 52-yard field goal. What a huge confidence boost for this Northern team. And then you'll see a, a great screen pass to Michael Turner. Maryland attacking that Northern offense. You take them out of their game a little bit by some misdirection, some screen passes. Turner with a great run, some help downfield with the receivers. And this legal pick play, Dan Schell picks off the, the Maryland defender and P.J. Fleck with an outstanding catch. You know, you go back to that run by Turner off the screen pass, heard a phenomenal block to spring him. You look at some of the statistics, first downs, even. Rushing yards, though. 46 to 24 passing yards, 66 to 134. And you take a look at total offense. Northern the advantage, the one turnover was the fumble on Allen. Northern, time of possession, yep. the lead. Those are the keys. And the penalty's really not a major factor, although Maryland made a couple of miscues, one in the uh, receiving game. You made the point right there. Zero turnovers despite being on the receiving end of several Maryland big plays defensively. They did not turn over the ball, and they kept that Maryland offense off the field. Time of possession, 17 minutes to 13 minutes. Again, it hasn't been pretty, but Northern has to be very happy with where they sit with the three-point lead. Well, Maryland will have the football when we come back. Maryland and Northern locked up in a deuce. That is sweet. My pride and joy. Oh, it looks new. Like right out of the showroom. Oh, that is one great looking. Whoa, hold on, honey. I'm showing Tom the floor. Nice floor, Joan. Make your garage floor the envy of the neighborhood. You can do it yourself with Rust-Oleum Epoxy Shield Garage Floor Coating. After prep, you're ready to go. Simple as painting a wall. Easy to clean and resist chipping and peeling. This all-inclusive kit is available at home centers, hardware stores, and automotive retailers near you. Oh, what a floor. Look how the moon reflects off it. Oh, beautiful. Huh? Mm. Dosekis. Sooner or later, you'll get it. You are one year old today. First birthday. Goodness. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, Happy birthday. Oh, that's good. Let's open the present. Okay, you want to go open the present? Let's see what we got here. Yeah. Oh, no. What's in that box, Daddy? Oh, oh my goodness. You got a big screen TV. <laughs> Sears offers top brand projection TVs like Hitachi. Great credit options and a price match plus policy. Sears. Good life. Great price. Hey, Cubs fan, looking for a new way to get to Wrigley Field? Try riding your bike. There are several bike racks surrounding the ballpark. Or drop off your bike worry-free at our bike check service. Located on the corner of Clark and Waveland, your bike will be attended to in our private lot at no charge. If you can't ride a bike, remember, public transportation is the best way to get to Wrigley Field. For more information, visit www.cubs.com. Weeknights, the biggest stars are on the best damn sports show, period. Yeah! Larry Luton Cutter. Please welcome Samuel Jackson. I'm in the left drive. Yeah! Ashton Cutter. I'm excited. I'm excited. It's show business. It's entertainment. Mike Tyson. Am I going to say this? Like the best damn sports show? Yeah! Tonight on Fox Sports Net. Use your head this summer and join the camp that really kicks. 
If you're between the ages of 4 and 17, Soccer Made in America training camps can teach you the soccer skills you'll need to stay ahead of the competition. From technical to tactical sessions and psychological and individual skill breakdowns, you get it all. If you want to become a better soccer player, make Soccer Made in America training camps your first goal, and you can be sure it won't be your last. For more information, call 630-257-6900 or log on to SMIA.com. White Sox, Tigers, tomorrow at 5.30 on Fox Sports Net. Well, it's 10-7. We are at the half. The fireworks are going off here. In the A little premature, maybe. North but... end zone as they celebrate. Well, they've got that big corn boil or corn fest going on here in DeKalb. So they're having some fun. They've got one of the best teams in the country in town, the Maryland Terrapins. Tom, is it some keys to the second half? Well, I, th I think that North has got to do a little bit better job protecting Josh Aldi. Maryland with a tremendous pass rush, second in the ACC last year with 37 sacks. They've done a nice job taking advantage of the youth and the size mis mismatch of that Northern offensive line. Doug Free, 276 pounds at the left tackle. Matt Rogers, only 263 at the left guard. They do have a mismatch. Northern's got to shore up that pass protection. All right, second half kick coming up. 10-7 Huskies. I'm conducting cancer research. I'm designing a Formula One car. I'm on an archaeological dig in Sicily. I'm preparing for a classical singing career. At NIU, students don't just learn to do, they do to learn. Through internships, cooperative education, research projects, and outreach programs, NIU puts students a step ahead with real-world learning. Dream, discover, and do. The NIU Experience. Northsiders 2003. It's your one-stop shop for all the baseball happenings on the North Side. Join host Corey McFerrin for in-depth features, great interviews, and meet some of the Northsiders' biggest fans. Northsiders 2003. Only on Fox Sports Net. Contrary to popular belief, Golf Chicago is not a golf show about nothing. Hosted by the incomparable Jill Carlson. Golf Chicago. It's must-tee TV. Every Sunday on Fox Sports Net. You pull your hat down real low, where all you can see is the catcher's mitt. Major League Baseball Charities is a proud partner of Boys and Girls Clubs of America. All right, kids, today we're going to talk about pregame rituals. You want to take your shoes, and you want to point them directly south. Through programs like RBI and Rookie League, they bring baseball and softball to kids around the world. What are you doing, dude? You can't move the shoes. When you're the pitcher, you're in charge. Show no fear. Keep the hitter honest. Together, they create a positive place for kids. How do you get custom windows, vinyl siding, and a day of family fun? 800-588-2300. Call Empire today. We deliver in a week and install in a day. 800-588-2300. You'll save with our low prices, plus no payments till 2005. And get two two-for-one coupons to Six Flags Great America. Call now. 800-588-2300. Empire. Today. I'm attorney Peter Francis Geraci. Chapter 13 may be able to take all your debt, past due mortgage payments, credit cards, finance companies, car and truck loans, medical bills, and mash them into one payment that you can afford. Credit counselors rarely, if ever, can do that. So get real debt relief from the law firm you trust to get you out of debt. 1-800-401-4010. Five, four, three, two, one. The entire world of extreme sports, all in one place. Weekdays on Fox Sports Net. The pennant chase is on. Frank Thomas and the White Sox know that every game counts and look to tame the Tigers during their showdown in Motown. White Sox, Tigers, tomorrow at 5.30 on Fox Sports Net. Welcome back to Northern Illinois. Let's go right to the sideline. Gail Fisher with Joe Novak. Thanks a lot, Dave. Coach, outside of that first possession, you've really held Maryland in this first half. Are you happy with the way your defense is playing? Well, I am right now, but I know that they're really a potent offense. we got to continue to play off a will. You have dominated the total offensive yards. However, the rushing game might not be where you want it to be. Are you going to make some adjustments? Well, we're going to try, but they're putting a lot of people up there, which we knew they would. It's tough for Michael to run it. we got to mix some pass in and try to pop him when we can. All right, Coach. Good luck in that second half. Let's send it over to Mitch now, who's got the Maryland side of things. Mitch? 
Thanks a lot, Gail. Inside the locker room, Ralph Regan said, quote, this is what I worried about all through double sessions. You're in a dogfight now. He said, are we what they think we are, overrated? This is the time that Maryland will test their poise. Look for them to spread out the offense. They want to move the linebackers out from inside the box. Back to Dave. Thank you, Mitch. We are getting ready to put the ball in the air. Tom Waddle, good second half. It should be, and I think Ralph Regan need not panic. He's got a great football team. Things have not gone his way. We talked about it in halftime. Some of his players have dropped passes. They've made mistakes. They've turned the football over. Be patient. Do what you've been coached to do through the entire summer. And you have to believe that your talent matches up very well with the guys in the red jerseys and the black pants. Azar will put the ball on the tee. You get a look at Ralph Friedgen, and I would imagine it was a fairly animated Ralph Friedgen in the locker room at the half. Well, I'm sure he grabbed a couple of his wide receivers carefully around the shoulder pads and suggested, hey, guys, listen, you've got a height advantage. You've got a weight advantage. You've got to get out there and make some plays. You are, you are leaving your quarterback hanging. Scott McBride is throwing the football well tonight. His receivers just have not come through. Now the clock is malfunctioning here in DeKalb, we are being told. So they will be keeping the time on the field. We will do our best to keep you apprised of the time. As you see, 3.58, not quite where it needs to be. It's up to you because I'm not wearing our a clock, watch right now. Our clock on the... Fox Sports Net broadcast will be right on the numbers for you. Northern needs to maintain the same enthusiasm they had as the first half ended. Once again, week one, the officials look a little confused. Anthony Gallagher is going to handle the kickoff chore here. Please turn off the game clock and the 25 second clock. I think they should just play until they get tired. Well, let's go to the locker room and see what Joe Novak had to say to his guys. Gotta have some football to play, is that not correct? Yeah, right. This first half is fine, but it ain't over yet. Gotta have football to play. Think of the winter, think of the spring, think of the summer, what you're playing for. Lay it on the field, man. Leave it out there. Leave it out there. Play your ass off. You know what we're here for? And let's get the damn thing done. Okay, let's go. A bit of a false start here on our kick. Crowd anxious. They want second half football. <laughs> As I said, it's early in the season. There are going to be mistakes. One of the officials is staying there with Gallagher. And he's just looking at him and laughing. And 25 seconds clock will be kept on the field. So there you have it. The clocks will be kept on the field. But for those of you at home, we've got all the toys for you. We've got a big TV up here, the first and 10 line. We've got sideline reporters, Gail and Mitch. I'm David Kaplan. He's Tom Waddle, a former Chicago Bears superstar wide receiver. Get overboard there. This is difficult for the, the way you wrote it. For the players on the field, too. If they don't have access to a correct scoreboard, they have to listen to the officials as well to know what's happening with the time. JoJo Walker grabs it inside his 10, turns the corner across the 30, and knocked out of bounds right near the 35 yard line. And Maryland goes on the attack. First possession of the second half, trailing 10 to 7. And once again, Maryland with decent field position. A lot of mistakes. A lot of mistakes in the first half. Actually, the, the numbers do not do Scott McBride justice. Only 7 of 13 for 66 yards. Those numbers should be much better. The Trez Harrison, Jafar Williams, both with a rough first half of football. Lots of drop balls. McBride's going to hand it off inside. Absolutely nothing doing for Josh Allen. That's probably the third time we've seen Rob Lee with great run support from his corner position. He just beats the Maryland right side of the line to the punch. Josh Allen goes down behind the line of scrimmage. Rob Lee, a young man who missed most of last season recovering from an ACL injury. He's had a whale of a ball game tonight. Second down and 10, maybe 11. McBrien under center. He's going to drop straight back. He's going to fire, and it is complete. 
Rich Parson, I believe, the man that made the catch, and he is knocked out of bounds right around the 43-yard line. Well, Scott McBride's getting smart. He's throwing it to somebody that's going to catch the football for him. Leaves him with a, a third and short, and again, these are much more manageable situations. He ended the first half with several third and longs, third and eight, third and nine, third and ten, and it really takes you out of what you want to do offensively third, when you face those types of downs and distance. A third and one for Maryland. Fiddler and Allen, the handoff, Allen, and he burst through the line, and he's hit at the 45-yard line, but that will be enough for a Maryland first down. Josh Allen gets credit for the first down. He needs to share some of the accolades with Bernie Fiddler, his lead fullback there, who was clearing a path. But again, Maryland comes out very calm, not panicking, going back to their control style of offense. McBride barks out signals out of first and 10 for the Maryland Terrapins. 11-3 a year ago, one of the nation's best teams in the preseason rankings. Hand off Allen, and Allen knocked down at the 50, across the 50 at the 43. Well-executed play. Wide receiver Rich Parson makes that happen with a solid block. Springing Josh Allen for a, a good eight-yard game. I know it's early. It just looks like Maryland, though, is a little bit more relaxed, a little more confident with what they're trying to do right now. Second down for the Maryland Terrapins. Fiddler, Allen the tail of the tandem. Hand off Josh Allen, and he goes nowhere. Lit up by Nick Duffy, the middle linebacker, number 45, to put the hit on Josh Allen. And that will bring up another third down for the Terps. This is a great play by Nick Duffy, your prototypical middle linebacker, a true run stuffer. He sees the gap. And that's just great one-on-one -on -one blocking. Nick Duffy, six foot, two inches, 244 pounds, has a size advantage over Josh Allen. He won the battle at the point of attack. Third and two, the eye formation again. Rick Bryan, hand off Josh Allen, and he's going to get the first down and a whole lot more. Duffy will tackle him at the 35-yard line. They ran off the left side of the line. And a big first down for the Maryland Terrapins. And they are now at the Husky 35 in business, first and 10. Nothing fancy about that. Again, you keep it third and short. Manageable distance, just a power eye run. Single back set. McBrien barks out the signals on a first and 10. Drops back, looks, looks, has time. He's going to run with the football. And he is knocked down at the 33. And I believe that that was Leonard Cooksey on the tackle. Well, that's an athletic play for a guy pushing the scales at almost 300 pounds. But again, you can tell that Scott McBride really not hampered by the groin problem because he has been more than willing to step up out of that pocket. He's done a nice job tonight. He has. Second down for Maryland. Single back set again is Josh Allen. Big Brian, delay the handoff Josh Allen, and Josh Allen met by a pack of red shirts. A pack of red shirted Huskies came flying in. I think Northern Eric Pittman, I believe, might have been the man in there. Defensive or Jason coordinator. Frank. Huskies defensive coordinator Scott Schaefer realizes that he's given away a lot of size and strength at the line of scrimmage. They're trying to slow down this Maryland running game by bringing blitzes with your safeties, your linebackers, and trying to create a little havoc back there in the Maryland backfield. And Nick Bryan's going to go out of his shotgun. Marks out his signals on a third and seven. Big play for the Maryland offense. Big play for the Husky defense. Northern puts pressure on. McBride oh, is tripped up on an outstanding play by Vincent Reynolds. Spied the quarterback and brought him down. 
Play developed nicely. McBride sees an alley, and then Vincent Reynolds just with a great athletic play. And now Nick Novak will come on and attempt a field goal. A 46-yard attempt. Snap, set, kick is away. It is perfect. He drills it, and we are all even. Nick Novak, 46-yard field goal. Put the points on the board for the Terps. It's 10-10. Got a doozy here in DeKalb. NIU fans, when you enter the Village Commons bookstore, you're entering Husky territory. BCB is the official site for NIU athletics, featuring the new NIU logo on a wide range of hats, t-shirts, shorts, sweats, and NIU logo gifts and accessories. Whether you're a student, graduate, or a fan of NIU athletics, the Village Commons bookstore is your Husky headquarters. Visit us in DeKalb or call us toll-free, 800-700-4868, or on the web at www.bcbs.com. DeKalb, Illinois is proud to be home to Northern Illinois University. The City of DeKalb and the DeKalb Chamber of Commerce invite you to make your destination DeKalb. Destination culture. In addition to the many cultural opportunities available at NIU, DeKalb is home to several theaters, including a newly renovated dinner theater. You'll find a wide variety of musical offerings in DeKalb, from national stars to local talent. DeKalb is a great place for family fun, whether you're an active participant or a cheering fan in the stands. Destination shopping. Whether you're looking for national brands or unique gifts, DeKalb offers a plentiful and diverse mix of shopping. Destination dining. You'll find a variety of restaurants in DeKalb. Enjoy the friendly atmosphere of outdoor dining or the excitement of our many sports bars and grills. The City of DeKalb and the DeKalb Chamber of Commerce invite you to make your destination DeKalb. For more information, visit DeKalb.org. This special edition of College Football Saturday on Fox Sports Net is brought to you by the Kyocera Smartphone. Baby, this is one smartphone. By Acura. Experience the performance today at your local Acura dealer. And by Rust-Oleum Epoxy Shield for the ultimate garage floor. Maryland will kick it away. They have tied it. It is 10-10. 10 play, 38-yard scoring drive to 518. Novak drilling the field goal. It's Randy Drew and Lionel Hickenbottom. Deep for Northern. Nick Novak has the ball on the tee. And he is ready to go. Driving kick, Randy Drew in the end zone. Thinks about it, takes two steps and says, I waited too long, no way. Let's go down to the sidelines and Gail Fisher. Thanks a lot. I'm with Dr. John Peters, president of Northern Illinois University. And how happy are you to have this big game here today on a day that you're rededicating your field? Well, this is just tremendous. We have a sellout crowd and we dedicated the field for the almost 50 years contribution of Dr. Bob Brigham, who was our athletic director, who took us into Division I athletic status. So we couldn't be more pleased. And the schedule that this football team has this season is really going to put you guys on the national map. Oh, it's a tremendous schedule. We go to Alabama, Iowa State is here, uh, and we have a tremendous uh, football team, and uh, Mike, uh, the burner turner, just tremendous. And it's been an exciting game so far. Dave, let's send it back to you upstairs. Thank you, Gail. Well, Tom, you called it two tight end offense for Northern Illinois to see if they can help out that young, inexperienced offensive line. Michael Turner takes the tackle. Michael Turner puts the ball on the carpet, but I Maybe think they're going to say it was down. The Turner's knee was down. They'll spot it right around the 37, 38 yard line. It's going to be the 27. Seven yard gain. Let's take a look at the Maryland scoring drive. 10 plays, 38 yards. It took 518. And Novak, perfect from 46 yards up. It gives them a little lift as well. Yeah, absolutely. Good special teams on both sides of the ball. Baldy pitch to Turner. They've got him fenced in, and that play goes nowhere. Back at the 25-yard line. 
Let's take a look at the play before this. The ball went to the carpet. That's actually a fumble. That ball was out. Yeah. Bad break for Maryland. Huge break for Northern Illinois. Unless the whistle was blown, and maybe you know the whistle blows the play dead, and then obviously there is no fumble, but Northern has to be happy the first run of the second half. They gained seven yards. Third down, and Haldy will take it out of the shotgun. Drops back, fires, and has his man, Keith Perry, at the 44-yard line, and that is a first down. And Josh Haldy sits in the pocket strong once again. He takes a shot. Delivers the ball to Keith Perry, though. Again, playing the Q position, Northern likes to call. Kind of a cross between a fullback and a tight end. You'll see Maryland with some more pressure. Keith Perry, wide receiving skills, but also a guy that can help you out in the running game. Big kid that can block. Yep, very physical player. They spotted actually right around the 40-yard line. Baldy, rolling, rolling, evades one rush and gets out of bounds wisely. Very wise. Leroy Ambush, and a great name for a linebacker, by the way. Leroy Ambush, he has really done a nice job containing the northern tight ends tonight. Nowhere for Haldy to go with that ball wisely, as we've talked about all night long, makes the right decision. Now, when you have a name like Ambush, you have to play football. I would think and you so. have to play football. I would think so. He'll be a boxer or a wrestler. Certainly can't be a figure skater or a gymnast. Ambush, outstanding man. Baldy, delay, gives it to Michael Turner, breaks one tackle, and look at that pursuit by Maryland. There were a host of white jerseys in there. Leon Joe, Ambush, a whole crew. Well, it's the right Equal idea. Well, Jackson, they were all there. Matt Canada's got the right idea, the offensive coordinator for Northern. You've got to try to take some of the steam out of this front seven, and you do it by running screen plays, draws, misdirections, anything to keep them on their toes. If they over-pursue, you can hit them in a seam and possibly create a big play. Keith Perry is your motion man. Haldy drops back, he's pressured, and he's going down. There's a screen that just was thwarted by the Maryland defense. They were trying to get the ball to Keith Perry, it looked like. They faked the screen to the right side, coming back to the left, and. Aldi, once again, nowhere to go with the ball, makes a good decision. Smith, Jackson, Williams, all there. This is, as you put it, a jailbreak. That's a jailbreak. And I'm crediting him for, for making the right decision. I'm not so sure he had a choice right there. Northern to punt. They get it away. It's a very, very low kick, but it will hit. JoJo Walker makes the catch off the bounce breaks some tackles, and brings it out with a very nice return to the 36-yard line. Once again, Maryland with decent field position. We're going to take a time out. We are at Brigham Field at Husky Stadium on the campus of Northern Illinois University in DeKalb, Illinois. we got a great ball game going. 10-10. Yeah, hey, call me on the edge phone. Is your phone broken, Joe? No, my wireless company doesn't give me enough anytime minutes. Hey, yeah, cool. <laughs> Hey, call me back later. Where? Yo, Stick, we hanging out tonight? Yeah. Call me on Stick's phone. For award-winning customer service and all the minutes you need, switch to U.S. Cellular. Yeah, you'll get the minutes you need to use your own phone. U.S. Cellular. We connect with you. Here's your chance to be the official Toyota fan of the game. During the fifth inning of every Cubs game on Fox Sports Net, we'll randomly select one lucky fan of the game. If Chipper Steve read your name and the Cubs score in their half of the inning, you'll win a Toyota Fox Sports Net prize package that includes a hat and a t-shirt. To enter, log on to fsnchicago.com or send a postcard to Toyota Fan of the Game, 350 North Orleans, Suite S1100, Chicago, Illinois, 60654. The Toyota Fan of the Game. It's fantastic. Thousands of the world's best triathletes will compete in Chicago. Only one will be crowned champion. Join Gail Fisher as we bring you the stories, updates, and insight into all the action. The 2003 Accenture Triathlon, September 7th on Fox Sports Net. Contrary to popular belief, Golf Chicago is not a golf show about nothing. Hosted by the incomparable Jill Carlson. Golf Chicago, it's must-tee TV. Every Sunday on Fox Sports Net. Yes. 
We are back. 6.35 left in the third quarter. 10-10 ball game. Let's take a look at our infinity team leaders. Josh Allen from Maryland comes. Done a nice job, and the Maryland defense also doing a fine job slowing down Michael Turner. That was the plan, take Turner away from the offense and force Northern to beat you through the air. And Maryland, with a bit of trickery, Maldonado, a decoy up the middle, and Maryland advances the ball to the 48-yard line. Rich Parsons really becoming a bigger part of this Maryland offense you know, in the second half. You made a good point. I think we were at the break at halftime, and you said they're going to have to find someone to step up after... Jafar Williams and JoJo Walker drop passes, and Parson has been the guy that they have thrown the ball to, and they've gotten him more involved. In well, you have a quarterback in McBrien who's been very accurate over the entire role of last season, and you let him down a couple of times, he's not going to come back to you. They yeah. preach to him, be efficient, make good decisions, and if his receivers aren't coming up with the football, the right decision is to look elsewhere. There's a look at Ralph Friedgen. A fabulous football coach. Two great coaches in this program. So a Maryland alum. College football Saturday, presented by Kiosera, returns to Fox Sports Net this Saturday when the number one ranked Oklahoma Sooners square off against North Texas. And Sunday, fifth ranked Longhorns get the season started against New Mexico State College. College football continues tomorrow night right here on Fox Sports Net. Check local listings at foxsports.com for the games and start times in your area. Well, this play ends up an incompletion, no yardage game by Maryland, but if you take a look, Brian Atkinson, I believe his head was separated from his body by center Kyle Schmidt. A knockout shot. Oh. Think, think twice about chasing you don't miss, Scott McBrien again. You don't miss playing when you see that. Do I do not. I didn't like playing inside the tackle box anyway. McBrien barking out. Signals to his line mates as Northern looks like they're going to bring some pressure, and they are. And Northern lights up McBrien, and he got rid of it. You got to give him a lot of credit. That kid has some guts to stand in there and get rid of the football. And once again, Northern bringing the heat with the blitz. Nick Duffy brings the pressure up the middle. Brian Atkinson from the outside, a little bit of a twist. And again, there looks to be a little bit of confusion from the Maryland wide receivers. Northern Illinois is just relentless when they bring pressure. This Duffy is outstanding. Third and ten for the Maryland Terrapin. 47 yard line. Here comes pressure again from Northern Illinois, and it is completed. McBrien delivers on the numbers and that is enough for a Maryland first down to Dan Melendez you can see the pressure coming and again the blind side it was coming McBride stands in there and delivers it absolutely the rush from the other side Randy Drew I believe was bringing the heat he could not get the McBride actually from his strong side but... that's an outstanding throw McBride out of the shotgun. Maldonado is your single back, and he'll get the handoff. And Maldonado will gain. Still driving. Well, that kid never stops moving his feet. He'll pick up maybe three when it looked like he was going to be nailed at the line of scrimmage. Nikhil Grant comes flying in from a strong safety position to support the run. Again, they're having a hard time. Northern is matching up man for man up front with this humongous Maryland offensive line. They're trying to control the running game by bringing stunts and blitzes and shooting a lot of gaps. The second and eight, they'll call it a two-yard game. Malmanato the back, McBrien the throw, dumps it out again to Parson, and he is knocked out of bounds right around the 35, 34-yard line. Our attendance tonight, a Husky Stadium Brigham Field record, 28,000. And 18. So a jam packed crowd in DeKalb, Illinois tonight. And a better environment for our first game of the year. I would say all 28,000 and change are getting their money's worth tonight. Yes, they are. 10 10 ball game, 4 41 left, third quarter. A third and six situation for Maryland. We're on a very efficient drive right now. 
Don't see pressure from the Huskies. Vic Bryan. Pop flies the left side seat, and they're going to call a pass interference play on Randy Drew, I believe. Well, Randy Drew looked like he did a fabulous job just cutting off the Maryland receiver. No, they're going to call offensive yeah, pass interference. I was going to say this was very well played by Randy Drew. Just pitches the receiver to the sideline. Looks like Jafar Williams gets his hands extended. I would not want to be Jafar Williams at film film session Pass tomorrow. He had the drop the to touchdowns in the first half. yards from the line of scrimmage. Repeats are down. Dropped two big passes in the first half and now commits an offensive pass interference. Well, Randy Drew just does an outstanding job. Again, he's given up over six inches to Jafar Williams. Plays perfect technique. Pins Williams to the corner. And Williams had nothing to do but create offensive pass interference, which I think is an oxymoron. I've never really seen it. I'm not so sure that was actually offensive interference as well. Now, now next week, Maryland's going to play at Florida State, so some of the faithful down there now has the chance to do some scouting. We want to welcome our Florida viewers at Fox Sports Net Florida. They may be a little to the broadcast. Maybe a little surprised to see the score right now. The Huskies and the Terrapins tied at 10. McBrien with Maldonado is slowing back. McBrien going to throw. Mc this and play is dead. They will blow this play dead. Play clock down to zero. Play game. By the offense. And a delay of game penalty on the Maryland down. offense will push them five yards back. And Ralph Regent is absolutely furious. Can't afford these penalties. Third and short quickly became third 25. Say what? I'm, I'm not sure what the completion percentage or the conversion percentage of third 25 is, but I'm assuming it's not real high. It's not going to be in that third section. There's still a lot of football left. Win or lose, he is going to have to do things to set. McBrien again, out of the shotgun. Northern shows the pressure. Yes, they do bring pressure. McBrien gets it away, completes the pass, but far short of a first down. Latrez Harrison makes the catch. Finally. And we've got the tempers flaring just a bit. As the tempers go up, the temperature has well, come down here. A little bit cooler now. The Huskies are feeling good about themselves right now. Very emotional. Very excited about being tied in this ball game right now. And they're putting pressure on Scott McBrien right now. Forcing him to dump the ball underneath. And a good series defensively for Northern. Adam Potlash will get the opportunity to punt. Standing at his own 39-yard line. He gets away a high driving kick that will sail into the Northern Illinois end zone. So the Huskies will take it at their own 20 when we come back. You've waited all summer for football to be back. We've got a barn burner for you in DeKalb, Illinois. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. It keeps on coming. Can't get enough of it. Don't know how they do it down at Applebee's, but I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Get all you can eat of Applebee's new rib tips. But don't wait too long, because this deal will be gone before you can say, I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Eating good in the neighborhood. Husky Stadium is the place to be in 2003. Come on out to DeKalb to catch Heisman Trophy candidate Michael Turner as he and the Huskies take on Tennessee Tech University on September 6th. And then on September 27th, Northern Illinois football takes on the Iowa State Cyclones at 3.05 p.m. Plenty of great seats still available, so order your tickets today. Contact any Ticketmaster outlet or go online at niuhuskies.com. Tonight on the best damn sports show, period. Bad boy Ron Artest is back as the chaos in the Hoosier State caused his temper to flare. Plus, Sooners coach Bob Stoops on the curse of being number one. Coming up after the game. NASCAR. Your season-long destination for everything that is NASCAR. Weeknights on Fox Sports Net. Oh, Bob Stoops has Oklahoma eyeing another title. The top ranked.
Southern Sooners kick off their 2003 campaign against North Texas. College Football Saturday on Fox Sports Net. The NFL returns to Fox on Sunday, September 7th, with a doubleheader beginning with America's number one pregame show as JB, Perry, Howie, and Jimmy get you ready for NFL kickoff 2003. Then the Rams take on the Giants as both teams try to start their season with a win. Then the Falcons head to Dallas, where Bill Parcells begins his quest to bring these Cowboys back to glory for other regional action. The coverage begins September 7th at noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific, and you know where, on Fox. Northern back at the attack, handoff to Michael Turner, and he is able to gain five, close to six yards on that run. Smith and Ambush in on the play, and Scott Smith is still down, number 54, and here come the Maryland training staff. Well, first two drives here in the second half for Northern. Looks like guys are cramping up. Though. Well, I mean, it's been very hot. It really has. We saw that with Randy Drew. Yeah. And now we see that it looks like, and I'm just guessing, with Scott Smith. You know, you've heard a lot of talk recently of, about people criticizing both the NFL and the NCAA with regard to how difficult training camps are. And, and I'm sorry, folks, having been in both situations, the only way you prepare yourself to play in conditions, now obviously the sun has gone down now, uh, and it's a little cooler, but it's 90 degrees at game time, and the only way you get yourself ready to play is by practicing in that type of environment. So these things are going to happen. Obviously, you keep, you keep your, uh, your athletes hydrated. The cramps are going to occur, and that's why it's important to have very good depth because when one guy runs out, the next guy, you know, backup's got to step in and, and make the play. Right, you read columns where people say, oh, that coach is too hard on his guys. How, why are they practicing that heat? And you're right, you've been there at both levels, and guys have got to get accustomed to get acclimated to playing in this oppressive heat which we had at the well, start of the game. They're taking Scott's, I don't know what his injury is, but Scott Smith's going into the training room right now, so it's probably a little bit more than cramps. Now, did you ever, at, at halftime, have to get fluids? Oh, yeah, it's very common. Very common. And I had such little body fat. See, and I just got my cholesterol checked where they just kind of trick me and then I fainted. So uh, to give me a, an IV it wouldn't work. Hand off again to Michael Turner, and he tries to drive his legs and really picks up nothing again. A group of red and white shirts came flying up to meet Mr. Turner, and let's go to Mitch Robinson with a heat report. That's right. Uh, you know, they just brought him in uh, in the locker room, Maryland, for uh, cramps. And they have IVs in there. They have all kinds of other stuff. They're, they're going to try to get him back, loosen him up, and rehydrate, and then uh, get their players back on the field. But... They didn't have a report of the heat, but the humidity is just murder down here as well. Boys. Thank you, Mitch. So It's not the so-called dry heat out here in DeKalb, is it? No, not like Phoenix. That's right. Josh Haldy on a third and four for the Huskies. Dan Sheldon, your motion man. Haldy fires, finds Sheldon, and he stretches, and it's going to be very close to the first down for the Huskies. It looks like from this vantage point that he got it. Well, Dan Sheldon's been the forgotten man in the first three quarters of football. A speedster, a big play guy, but right here he serves as a possession guy moving the chains. Third and four, but this is where you like to be as an offense. Good pickup by Michael Turner. Sheldon with the reception finds the first down stake. And the drive continues. Baldy going to go deep. He looks, he throws, and it's incomplete. Josh Haldy fired downfield. Sam Hurd and Haldy, you can see, thinks, I had it. I'm just going to say to you before that play, when do you take a shot down the field? Well, I, Northern I think you have to. I think they're torn between playing conservative a little bit, taking care of the football, but you still have to stretch a defense to, to keep them honest. I'm not so sure Sam Hurd was real open out there, but. There's our current weather. It's pulled up eight degrees since we started this football game. Second 10 for the Huskies. Baldy fakes the Turner. He fires, looks for Fleck. He's got him, turns it upfield, and is knocked out of bounds by Dominic Foxworth. Solid tackle, solid play. There you go with a misdirection again. A little bit of a bootleg. Gets himself once again into a manageable third short. 
the game for P.J. Fleck. Really has been the star on offense so far for Northern. And a third and four situation. We're inside two minutes left, third quarter. David Kaplan and Tom Waddle with you. Gail Fisher, Mitch Robinson working the sidelines. Pete Perry is the motion man. Northern's going to throw. Aldi fires, finds Sheldon, and that should be a first down. And Sheldon immediately grabs his knee. You never like to see that. And here comes the training staff quickly out. Dan Sheldon made the catch, was upended, and immediately grabbed his knee. This is why I have nightmares. That's that's not good. The knee is not supposed to bend in that direction. It was not as violent as what we saw last year with Willis McGahee, but a similar, it looks like, type of injury. They're fairly significant. Grabbing that left yeah, it knee. It looks like he hyperextended it. You just hate to see that. But to his credit, he caught the football. Now, I wanted to ask you that. That was one of my questions for you. You were known as a guy who was not fleet of foot, but you I were a guy. I don't know where you got that, that information. That 4940 time. Was oh, a four eight. Sorry. But you were a guy that anyone that watched you play at Sheldon will be helped off the field with a nice ovation from the Northern Illinois fans. Well, you, you've got one job. One job in NC. Well, you, you also are asked to block, but your biggest job is to catch the football. And Dan Shelton comes across the middle fearlessly, makes the catch. It was a good hit by the Maryland defensive back. Violent game. It's a very violent game. But my question to you was, when you go over the middle and you see guys like Randy Starks who are huge, what's going through your mind? Catch the football because the verbal abuse from Mike Dickey was harder to take than the physical abuse from the players I was out there playing against. Baldy gives it to Turner, and he is wrapped up just across the 45-yard line. That's not a good example of what I was going to mention, but Northern, in this second half, have done a much better job on first down. They left themselves with second and nine right now, but with this defense, as many athletes as Maryland has, you just cannot allow them to tee off on your quarterback in third and long, second and long. One thing it looks like that Northern has won tonight is the possession back, time of possession. Yes, they have. Baldy is going to throw. He is pressured. He fires. And it is incomplete attended for Sam Hurd. Like Jerome Cox completely pinned Sam Hurd to the sideline. Michael Turner once again has not had an outstanding night running the football, but on that particular play did a great job picking up the blitzing linebacker Leroy Ambush he's, you know, he's the full package he really is and that's something that when an NFL scout puts on the film later this week or sometime down the road they will recognize that Baldy's gonna throw he is going downfield and nobody home the only man home was Badu Williams number 10 for Maryland now, he has a transfer from Towson, but a very interesting story on this young man, Madhu Williams. He spent his summer in the internship program at the National Institutes of Health to prepare himself, and he says, for life after football. His job, he worked with kids who are terminally ill. He had to get those kids who can't get their minds off their terminal illness and get their minds off them, play games, whatever it took. And he said it put everything he does on the football field in complete perspective. A wonderful young man, Madhu Williams. And that punt will roll down right around the 12-yard line where Maryland will go back on the attack. Madhu Williams is a guy, the kind of guy that represents all the good things in college sports. And he's an excellent young man and an even better football player, maybe. Or maybe just as good a football player as he is a young man. He certainly will play on Sundays in the National Football League. And let's go back down to the sidelines. Gail Fisher with a report on uh, number five, Dan Sheldon. Well, Dave, Sheldon just came running out of the locker room, so he is fine. It looks like he just hyperextended his knee a little bit, but shouldn't be a problem. He will return to this game. And I talked to NIU's team physician who said, yes, they are dealing with some cramps. The heat, this being the first game of the year, everybody's not up to 100% because of the weather. 
That's a report from down on the field. Thank well, that, you, Gail. That's surprising. After that hit to see Dan Shelton thinking about coming into the, back into the ball game. Latrez Harrison makes the catch for Maryland. 6'2", 223-pound senior, was a quarterback here at one time. Shifted to wide receiver. Big, strong young man. Makes the catch, and it's a first and ten for the Turks. Hand off Josh Allen, he's got running room, and Josh Allen across the 25 near the 36, 37 yard line. Should be 26, 27 yard line. They just packed it in, two tight ends, one wide receiver, play a little smash mouth football. Well, we've come to the end of three quarters of play. Great ball game. 10-10 will come back with the exciting fourth quarter. <laughs> At Subway, we put passion back in fashion. So, how was lunch, Bob? Magnifico! Try Subway's savory Caesar chicken. The taste of a Caesar salad in a sub. Roasted chicken breast, rich Caesar dressing, crunchy croutons, and Parmesan cheese on fresh-baked gourmet bread. Subway's savory Caesar chicken sub. Subway, eat fresh. Try Subway's new savory Caesar chicken sub and receive a free movie or game rental voucher when you rent one at Blockbuster. Subway, eat fresh. The car of your dreams is waiting. The Infiniti FX and Motor Trends 2003 Car of the Year, the G35 and G35 Coupe. Visit Infiniti's limited engagement sales event, but hurry. With special APR financing on select models, the car of your dreams could be gone. The Home Depot is more than a store. It's everything you need to transform your home during a three-day weekend. It's where you'll make no payments and get no interest for 12 months on any appliance, kitchen, or bath purchase of $299 or more on your Home Depot consumer credit card. You don't even need a coupon. It's called the Dream It, Design It, Do It event, but you'll call it marvelous. Only at the Home Depot. You can do it. We can help. The award-winning Victory Vegas. Yes, it's art. No, there is no wine tasting afterwards. Vegas, a modern factory custom from Victory, the new American motorcycle. Custom build any Victory online, including the all-new Kingpin at victory-usa.com. Welcome back on Fox Sports Net. Hope you're enjoying the ball game wherever in this great country of ours you're watching. 10-10, fourth quarter, getting ready to get started on a second six for Maryland. We have just had a fabulous ball game here tonight. Scott McBride gives to Josh Allen, and he will be wrapped up after a very short game, perhaps two yards. Well, we talked with the Northern Illinois coaches before the game, and the game plan was Let's stay in this ball game until the fourth quarter, and hopefully anything is possible. And I think that's that's been Joe Novak's approach throughout his last several years. He feels very comfortable, comfortable with the level of athletes he has on that roster now. And they can hang close, particularly with talented teams late in games. He feels he's got the, the horses, the squad, to, to come away with big wins. Third and four situation now for Maryland. Allen, the single back set. McBrien under center. Crosses to Josh Allen. Northern pursuit will wrap him up. And now we've got a little bit of extracurricular activity. JoJo Walker's helmet goes flying. And he and Lionel Hickenbottom, a pair of number nine, exchanging words. And Maryland will be forced to part. Just a great job by this Northern Illinois defense stringing this thing out. Vincent Reynolds once again Gets into the play, Nick Duffy. I think right now Maryland's becoming very frustrated with what they're seeing out of this Husky football team. there season. is Dan Sheldon back to return the punt, Tom, so the knee must be feeling A-OK. -okay. It's one tough kid. That is one tough cookie. The punt, a deep driving spiral. Sheldon catches it at the 12. Makes a move. He's at the 20. 
He turns the corner up the middle and to the 25-yard line. Nice cut back. Obviously, the knee feeling A-OK. A Northern Illinois Husky football on Fox Sports Net is brought to you by Culver's Frozen Custard and Butterburger, America's favorite made fresh. U.S. Cellular, we connect with you. Applebee's, eating good in the neighborhood. The Village Commons Bookstore, for all your Husky clothing and souvenirs, visit us at bcbs.com. And Subway, eat fresh. <laughs> NIU has the football. Early stages, fourth quarter, their own 25-yard line. Michael Turner, as he's been all night, the single back set. He's Perry, the man in the motion. Baldy looks, steps up, it's going to run. It slides down and just short of the 30-yard line. And Leroy Ambush nearly oh. decapitated. Hey, well, he's fortunate that he didn't get a penalty right there for leading with his helmet. Josh Baldy's just a tough kid. Sat in the pocket all night, taking the hits. Tucks this one and runs. And you see right there, Leroy Ambush leading with the crown of his helmet. I think he did, though, try and avoid him at the last second. He's close. Baldy throws, finds P.J. Flack, breaks a tackle, and advances it near the 40-yard line. A first down for the Huskies as the clock ticks to 12.33. Now the fans, you just keep moving the chains with a controlled passing attack. And Haldy making a good decision. Flack shows he's a little bit better athlete than many believe. Gets the first down. Big night for P.J. Flack. All the under center, drops back, fires, and it is intercepted by Dominique Foxworth. Intercepted by Maryland Northern's first turnover of the ball game, and that is what you call a big play. Josh Haldy looking for Dan Shelton. Dan Shelton just slipped on the play. He's got good time to throw. You'll see Shelton is down, and just a great catch. That's an by Dominique Foxworth. Standing play by Foxworth. You're absolutely right. This is hey, Northern, a momentum shifter. Northern Illinois football on Fox Sports Net brought to you by Culver's Frozen Custard and Butterburger. America's favorite made fresh. U.S. Cellular, we connect with you. Applebee's, eating good in the neighborhood. The Village Coppins Bookstore, check them out at bcbs.com. And Subway, eat fresh. And Maryland back on the attack. Scott McBride slips down at the 42-yard line. It does pick up five, six yards for the Terps. And the clock kicks toward 11.50. Turnovers just kill you, especially midfield. So one turnover for each club. This one a huge one for the Maryland Terrapins, putting them in business in Northern Territory. Maldonado, rumbles, knocked down by Akil Grant. But that will be a Maryland first down. Sammy Maldonado, nice job running between the tackles. Josh Allen more of the speed back. Good at getting around the corner, but this big young man, 231 pounds. That's someone you want to get in front of. And he's got a full head of speed. Single back set again is Sammy Malvinato. McBrien under center. And he changes the play at the line of scrimmage. Drops back. Goes deep down the field. And overthrows his man, Latrez Harrison. Harrison had a step on Randy Drew which you normally do not see Randy Cruz as quick as any corner. That's right. You don't normally see Scott McBrien throw the ball out of bounds. And that will bring up a second down and 10 with the 11-0-1 left fourth quarter. You could not have asked for a better ball game to open the college football season here on Fox Sports Net. We thought this would be a very competitive game. Northern really has improved their talent level, and it's been a very good football game. 
Second and ten, this time from the shotgun. McBrien takes the snap, looks, looks, steps up, is going to run with the football, and is dragged down. Thought about sliding, and then is dragged down by Javon Lee. Well, it's looked like tonight that McBrien's had a whole lot of open space to run in, but the holes have closed awful quick tonight. Javon Lee has football in his blood. His father was a running back in Indiana State and was drafted by the Pittsburgh Steelers. Third and seven. Huge play for the turf offense right here. They have not been outstanding on third down tonight. Again, McBride barks out the signals from the Motion. shotgun. Motion. At least two of the Maryland wide receivers. They have jumped the gun just a bit. We'll see if my partner is right. Ralph Friedgen has to be beside Pitfall. himself. The way game by the offense. The by the offense. They were trying to get out there knowing the clock was running down. They just do not look like they're all on the same page right now. Would you attribute some of that to the wonderful schemes of Scott Schaefer, the Northern Illinois defensive coordinator, because they've been able to get such good pressure and close holes as you put I think that's some of it. I think it's just Maryland has been very undisciplined. They've made a lot of mistakes that they don't normally make. A third and 12 now for Maryland. McBrien out of the shotgun. Northern bringing pressure. McBrien looks, steps up, going to run. Evades the tackle, dives, and will not get the first down. Once again, Northern doing a nice job pinning McBrien inside that tackle box. He's had a hard time. He's had some length, but he's had a hard time getting outside. And that was Brian Atkinson, number 38, who was in there on the stop. Brian comes off a little slower this time. A little slow getting up, but that heat has got to take his ball. This is a 50-yard attempt for Novak. The snap, the set, it's got the distance, it is good! He wills a 50-yarder! And the number 15 Turks with 9-10 left have grabbed a 13-10 lead over Northern Illinois. We will be back with the exciting conclusion, 9-10 to go, what a ball game! Come on, Mr. Culver, keep them coming. Okay. Pat Bennett. Club salad, no mushrooms. Pat A. Bennett. Hot and spicy chicken salad, no olives. Patricia Bennett. A grilled chicken cashew salad, perfect as is. Great job, Kevin. I get a lot of practice, Mr. Culver. People love a salad made fresh to order. Rachel Kamen. Darn salad ranch dressing. Deer store. Hot and spicy chicken sandwich. Salad. <laughs> Hot and spicy. Adam A. Abbott. Okay, I can do this. Try a Culver's custom creation salad today. The all new two hundred and sixty five horsepower Nissan Maxima. Sammy Sosa and the Cubs look to keep their pennant hopes alive when they face Richie Sexton and the big bats of the Brew Crew. Cubs, Brewers, Saturday at 2.30 on Fox Sports Net. Five, four, three, two, one. The only show that takes you inside the world of extreme sports each and every weekday. Five, four, three, two, one. Weekdays on Fox Sports Net. This week, Fox Saturday Baseball returns when old rivals go head to head as the AL East leading Yankees take on the Red Sox or the NL East leading Braves battle the Pirates. Or the NL West leading Giants head to the desert to take on a Diamondbacks team fighting for their playoff live or the Orioles battle the Mariners. It all begins Saturday at 12.30 p.m. Eastern and Pacific on Fox. I still find it hard to believe that Dan Schultz is back returning kicks after watching his knee bend in the wrong direction. 
Right, and he will take the place of Randy Drew, who has been cramping up. Sheldon and Hickenbottom are your return men. High driving kick, and this one's going to go to the Sheldon in the end zone. He's coming out. Sheldon across the 10. Sheldon to the 15. Sheldon is dragged on. A penalty marker comes flying in, and he's nailed at the 15-yard line. One of the Northern Illinois players lost his helmet. Let's take a look at the Labatt game stats. Flag on the player. Well, again, the, the one number that stands out to me, the rushing yards, Northern Illinois, which is 30 yards. Michael Turner, Turner the burner, really never got on track tonight. Maryland's played much better football offensively in the second half. They've now overtaken the return, Northern Illinois. Total holy. yards, 221 to 208. By the return team. Make the distance to the goal. First down. Well, Northern's task of tying or taking the lead in this ballgame just got a little tougher. A hold on the kick return backs them up half the distance to the goal, and they are going to start at their own eight-yard line. Not what you like to see if you're Joe Novak. No. Not when you've had a lot of trouble trying to run the football. That's exactly right. 30 yards on the ground tonight. And the handoff to Michael Turner crashes into the hole. Fights off a tackler and is across the 10 to the 11, possibly the 12. We'll see where they spot it. Still a lot of time left in this football game, just under nine minutes. I'm sure offensive coordinator Matt Canada is telling Josh Haldy, hey, listen, obviously we're going to try to do some things offensively here, but let's not make any mistakes and give, give the ball back to Maryland. We see the Nissan scoring drive, six plays, 15 yards. Took just 258, but it's good from 50 yards else, by Novak. Two outstanding kickers. Yes, Azar and Novak, outstanding. Fleck, your motion man. Baldy drops back. Has time, fires for Fleck, and he makes the catch. But it will be short of the first down mark. But as you like to put it, Tom, it's now a makeable situation. That's exactly right. Especially deep in your own end, the last thing you want to be facing is a lot of third and longs. Again, this has been a very difficult front seven to run against for the Huskies in the second half. I'll tell you, guy, Nick Duffy's gotten a lot of call tonight, and rightly so. He's played very well, but deep well. Jackson, the middle linebacker from Maryland, is also a very fine middle linebacker. I'm out. Solid Northern tackle. Illinois. We're going to come back. A timeout for the Huskies on a huge third down conversion. 13-10, turf, 744 left. The search for new knowledge doesn't have a beginning or an end. At NIU, discovery is a seamless web of teaching, research, and outreach. So it's no surprise that some of our best teachers are also world-famous scholars. I think there's a strong relationship between good teaching and active research. Dream, discover, and do. The NIU Experience. Contrary to popular belief, Golf Chicago is not a golf show about nothing. Hosted by the incomparable Jill Carlson, Golf Chicago, it's must-tee TV, every Sunday on Fox Sports Net. Football Weekly, Saturdays at 11 on Fox Sports Net. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. The only show that takes you inside the world of extreme sports each and every weekday. Five, four, three, two, one. For breaking news, event highlights, and inside features you won't find anywhere else. 54321. Weekdays on Fox Sports Net. Welcome back to DeKalb, Illinois. It's Brigham Field at Husky Stadium. I'm David Kaplan alongside former Bears standout wide receiver Tom Waddle. And Tom, this is exactly where Northern wanted to be. 
in the fourth quarter with a chance to win the football. No question. It, it looks so. They get the first down here on a short run. But it looks like they may have to go to the air to accomplish what they're trying to do. Maryland has really done a nice job shutting down Michael the burner Turner really hasn't done much burning today. 30 yards total offense on the ground tonight for Northern Illinois. Maryland stout up front. They really shut down that running attack for him. But Maryland's so quick on their defensive penetration, they've taken away his lane. Well, they did a nice job, Northern Illinois did, making yardage and making things happen through the passing game in the first half. And I really believe they're going to have to go back to the air to, to make something happen here with seven and a half minutes left. Well, first and ten situation, and Haldy's going to throw, and Haldy is buried. Absolutely buried. And maybe that was a bad suggestion to go to the air. They got him we have a late flag. Behind, and we do have laundry on the field. Once again, they're trying to set up the screen. Michael Turner just gets caught up in traffic. Dead ball. Personal foul by the defense. Automatic first down. An absolutely awful mistake for Maryland. Well, Ralph Friedman said it when he went into the locker room at halftime. His guys are not making plays. And to compound that problem, his players are making mistakes. Kevin Eli was the man who made the sack. But again, a personal foul on Maryland. A automatic first down. An automatic first down for the Huskies which wipes out a very big set. First to 10 situation, and you're right, Hall, he's gonna throw again. Fires for Keith Perry to drop. Keith was looking to turn up and run with it before he had it. I just don't see Northern being able to move that front seven of Maryland running the football right now. At the very least, they're gonna have to spread them out a little bit, accomplish something in the passing game to loosen things up. Coach Joe Novak has to be frustrated with their inability to run the ball, especially with a talented back like Michael Turner. Northern with two tight ends. Baldy drops back, does have some time, pop flies the left side, goes deep and throws it out of bounds. Nothing there. It's a very difficult secondary to throw on. Talking going on right now. Tone Powers was down the field, but tremendous coverage by that Maryland secondary. Well, they're, they're outstanding. All four starters from last year returned. And in Madhu Williams and Denard Wilson, you basically have two safeties that are as, as good as corners in the passing game. So, very difficult. It's a, a third and ten situation for the Huskies. Out of the shotgun. And I think we may have movement from Maryland across the line. We will find out if Northern jump. Again, at third and ten, not a place where Joe Novak needs to see a penalty. Dead ball. Contact by the defense. It is on Maryland. Five yards. The down. Usual mistake by the Turks. Well, regardless of how this game plays out, it'll be a very difficult ride home for this Maryland club. And Ralph Regan is not a guy who minces words. He, yeah. there is no There'll be no mincing of words on that flight home, no. trust me. There, he is not a guy that soft shoes or molly coddles his guys. He is a guy that lets you know where you stand immediately. I don't know what you just said, but I'll agree with it. <laughs> you know, you mentioned the name Denard Wilson. An interesting story. 18 months ago, Denard Wilson Got a phone call. I heard a rumor that Ralph Friedman was being courted for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Prior to the contact by defense, please reset the clock to six three seven. So he hears his coach is being courted for the Bucks vacancy that went to John Drew. The next day, the team got together for conditioning. Wilson told all his teammates, "Don't take your sweats off and don't run for the man." In walks Friedman. Goes, "What's going on?" And he says. Are you in or are you out? That's Ralph Regan's big saying. He, he got very emotional. He said, I'm in. That ended any thought for the Bucks. He's a Maryland man. Baldy fires, and he's got a first down. Yes, sir. P.J. Black. So many times, regardless of the level, the NFL, the college level, you see wide receivers run four-yard routes on third and six. 
right here you see a veteran player get past the first down marker it's a little arrow route finds the first down gets down controls the football okay what and you see josh holdy taking a, he a got shot it. again ah. and you see on the in sync box a chance to see what happened to the qb and the wide receiver and Northern's going to throw the football again. It back across the field to keep Perry across the 40. Perry breaks into the clear and knocks out of bounds in Maryland territory. A little trickery for the Huskies. And they are in business with 6.03 to go. Now well, there's no question. The most efficient play they've run all night long has been the screen play. And they've run it out of a variety of different sets for a variety of different guys. Perry, he dug free with an outstanding block. Outstanding block. Well, again, this, this northern front front five can't match up with the Maryland front seven. A lot of misdirection. And this time they give it to Michael Turner, and Michael Turner moves the pile. We have not seen much burning from the burner tonight. That's the credit to the Maryland defense, but there... Turner with a very solid run moves the ball to the 33 34 yard line of the turf. And watch how methodically Josh Haldy runs this offense right now. Just over five and a half minutes to go. Certainly want to get in the end zone, but really no run. Carry your motion, man. Haldy going to throw, and he is hit. Northern recovers and Haldy was drilled and they will call it an incomplete pass. Again, outstanding pressure from Merrill. They have gotten away with one there. The pressure once again comes straight up the middle and he just loses it on the way back. I'm not so sure that ball's not loose before he comes forward. Fortunately, Todd Galani drops on it, but they call it an incomplete pass. Once again, Northern with a very bankable third and short. Third and two situation. Do you run or do you throw, Tom Waddle? I run it. And Michael Turner rumbles for the first down. Okay, I'm sorry. Well, we haven't seen a whole lot of that tonight. Haven't seen the offensive line for Northern getting a whole lot of push, and we haven't seen Michael Turner running free a whole lot. What a great time for them to find a spot that convert that third down. Have you ever heard of the calling screen, Tom? When you call your buddies, you go, put the game on. Now, Fox Sportsnet has got a great one going. The number 15 Terps and the Huskies, the favorite to win the MAC Conference this year driving to try and take the lead or tie it. Michael Kerr, another big run. Huskies are moving the pile and they are nearing the red zone. But despite being undersized compared to that Maryland front four, looks like the Huskies are a little fresher than the Terps right now. Michael Turner starting to pick it up. 26 carries, 77 yards. Ralph Frazier doesn't look good right there. His demeanor. Well, he's not happy. And again, they give it to Turner, and Turner wow. lit up and still takes the hit. Wow, that was a nice belt. Like Leon Joe met Michael Turner in the hole. That's a major league collision right there. That is the guy saying, sorry, you've gone as far as you're going on this play. I think Leon Joe's a guy that feels a little bit slighted. Obviously, E.J. Henderson, the focus of that defense last year, but he's he the was the leading tackler. Leading returning tackler on this club, started his last 24 games in a Maryland uniform. 14th play of this drive. Balding. And I would think he got it. It's close. It will be very close on the spot, but it looks like he got it. Yes, he does. And the key to this success is very obvious. They left themselves to a third short on several occasions. And again, the clock is an issue. Look at this. 14 plays, 75 yards. They've taken five minutes and 10 seconds off the clock. Let's not forget the huge roughing play, the 
That ball foul, the penalty. Back inside the northern 10 on Maryland. Michael Turner tries to turn the corner. Michael Turner is knocked down on a whale of a tackle. I believe it was Foxworth that cut his feet out from under him. After a gain of, let's call it four. Well, you gotta like the versatility. He's had success running it up the middle on this drive, and there you see NFL caliber speed as he gets to the outside. Turns nothing into a four or five yard gain. Ball sits at the 12. Second and five, they'll give him a five yard gain. The burner is starting to cook. They go to him again, Michael Turner inside the 10. This has got to be where the conditioning all spring and summer in the hot days where you start to really dig down deep. Well, this is why you get up early in February at 5.30 in the morning, four or five days a week. Prepare yourself for these types of moments on the football field. Maryland seems to be a little bit more gassed than this northern team. Again, third and short. Joe Novak instructing his quarterback, Josh Haldy, to use as much clock as he can. It's a third and three situation for the Huskies. Baldy's going to throw. Now he's going to run. Baldy whacks. did not get the first I down. I do not believe he made it. I'm a little surprised by that call. They had so much success recently running the football. Baldy was absolutely lit up. It's faced with a... You can tell he's, he's a little banged up here. Paul. Very short fourth down. What do you do if you're Joe Novak? Well, I think that you give your, your quarterback time to compose himself. There's really no pressure. We talked about this at the top of the broadcast. There's no pressure on this northern team. Everyone out in the, the land of college football thought that Maryland would walk right through this Huskies team. Well, they've proven a lot of people wrong. That's right. Everybody watching this game tonight is going to say win, lose, or draw. Oh, yeah. And that's a great football Maryland. team. And that's Maryland had their hands full. We're going to take a timeout. There's a timeout on the field with a minute 16 to go. And don't go anywhere. This is a barn burner in DeKalb, Illinois. Yeah, hey, call me on the edge phone. Is your phone broken, Joe? No, my wireless company doesn't give me enough any time minutes. Hey, yeah, cool. <laughs> hey, call me back later. Where? Yo, Stick, we hanging out tonight? Yeah. Call me on Stick's phone. For award-winning customer service and all the minutes you need, switch to U.S. Cellular. Yeah, you'll get the minutes you need to use your own phone. U.S. Cellular. We connect with you. Come on, Mr. Colbert. Keep them coming. Okay. Pat Bennett. Club salad. No mushrooms. Pat A. Bennett. Hot and spicy chicken salad. No olives. Patricia Bennett. A grilled chicken cashew salad. Perfect as is. Great job, Kevin. I get a lot of practice, Mr. Colbert. People love a salad made fresh to order. Rachel Kamen. Daughter salad ranch dress. Deer store. Hot and spicy chicken sandwich. Salad. <laughs> Hot and spicy. Adam A. Abbott. Okay. I can do this. Try Culver's custom creation salad today. L.A. Tan, the first to introduce Mystic Tan in Illinois. Mystic Tan gives you that sexy bronze tan, UV free, in less than 60 seconds. L.A. Tan offers VIP memberships starting at $9.99 a month. Tan free every day. L.A. Tan has over 35 locations in the Chicagoland area. For the location nearest you, visit our website, latan.com, or call 877-GO-LA-TAN. This special edition of College Football Saturday on Fox Sports Bet is brought to you by the Kyocera Smartphone. This is one smartphone. And by the best jam sports show, period. For the latest in sports news, entertainment, and a whole lot more. Northern's going to line up for the field goal, and this is the right call. They're a little bit further than a yard, fourth and a little bit more than a, than a yard, and you have a mismatch. You're not as big and strong and talented up front as Maryland. Take the three points and rely on your defense. Snap, set, kick, perfect. Good decision by Joe Lopez. The game is high. Wow, minute 12 to go. Well, 13 all. Don't go anywhere. This promises to be a whale of a finish. A box for the next.
car of your dreams is waiting. The Infiniti G35, the G35 Coupe, and the FX. The SUV the New York Times said manages to steal Porsche's thunder. Visit Infiniti's limited engagement sales event, but hurry. With special APR financing on select models, the car of your dreams could be gone. That is sweet. My pride and joy. Oh, it looks new. Like right out of the showroom. Oh, that is one great looking... Whoa, hold on, honey. I'm showing Tom the floor. Nice floor, Joan. Make your garage floor the envy of the neighborhood. You can do it yourself with Rust-Oleum Epoxy Shield Garage Floor Coating. After prep, you're ready to go. Simple as painting a wall. Easy to clean and resist chipping and peeling. This all-inclusive kit is available at home centers, hardware stores, and automotive retailers near you. Oh, what a floor. Look how the moon reflects off it. Oh, beautiful. Huh? Mm -hmm. Well, 116 to go, 13 all. Let's hear the decision-making process of the head coach of the Huskies, Joe Novak. Have to, coach. You got to kick the Have to. Kick off. Whatever you think. Well, it was the right decision. Whatever you think. You take the points. Again, you had a little bit of a mismatch. Maryland bigger, stronger up front. You had a little over a yard to convert the fourth down. Um, I think he made the right decision. I think they made the wrong decision throwing the ball on third and short. Right, but Hall, he ran. I agree with you. I would have run the football there, too. But, you know, we get nine sites, and we get to sit up here. By the way, the that drive, 18 plays, 84 yards, and it took 7.58 off the clock. Driving kick will come down at the goal line. Walker across the 20 nearing the 30 and he is tackled at the 28 yard line 106 left maryland will try and drive it down and give their kicker a chance to win it let's go to the sidelines and it's robinson dave and tom i'm told that at the end of every practice session for maryland they run a one minute 25 second scoring drive so this one is pretty much scripted for them back to you guys there you go those nuggets the pearls of wisdom being down on ralph Friedman's sideline McBrien out of the shotgun. We are tied at 13. He looks, he looks, he throws, and it is dropped. Josh Allen could not corral the pass. It'll bring up a second down and 10 with exactly 60 seconds left in our football game. And Maryland with two timeouts. So in regulation, I should say, Tom. No reason to panic right now. Two timeouts for Maryland. <laughs> Got to try and move the chain. Do you take a chance running the football at all, Tom? Oh, I think you got to stick to the air right now. McBrien again. He is pressured. He is hit. He is shaping, and he is tackled. Northern brought pressure, and McBrien could not get away. Loss of a couple on the play. It'll bring up a third and long. Maryland will take a timeout with 49 Point four seconds left on our scoreboard clock. Give Northern credit, they're sticking to their game plan. They are relentless with the pressure. They're bringing corners, they're bringing linebackers. They're doing everything they can to try to disrupt this Maryland passing attack. This is an experienced college quarterback right now, Scott McBrien. Definitely leaning on the experience of last year. Get a look at Novak. He's already made a 50-yarder tonight. He's got the leg to give Barrel a chance if they can get him within what do you think, 55 yards. That first they, one, they, short. they still have about 30 yards they've got to travel before they put this young man in position to make the field goal. Maybe even a little bit more. I would 35, maybe, maybe even 40 yards. So that's a lot to ask from this young man. Northern Illinois' last win over an ACC opponent nearly a year ago. August 29, 2002. They beat Wake Forest right here, 42 to 41. That game you and I called. We happen to be here for that. A third and 11th situation for the Terrapins. Brian barking out signals out of the shotgun. Northern looks to get some pressure. 
He goes deep. He looks, and it's overthrown. Once again, Latrez Harrison running free in the northern secondary. Scott McBrien cannot make the connection. Northern's going to get this football back, probably a good field position, with plenty of time and two timeouts to make something happen. Again, you have a puncher here. Kicked the ball pretty well, Adam Potlash, but this is his first college game after replacing Brooks Barnard, who spent this summer in the Bears camp. And you see right there again, Latrez Harrison had a step with the Northern Illinois defensive back. Scott McBride just could not deliver the ball. Potlash is back. Dan Sheldon is deep. The kick is away. High driving kick, Sheldon's got it. Sheldon up the gut and is knocked down right at the 30. So, 32 seconds left. I'm gonna guess they have to move the ball 35 yards in 32 seconds to get Steve Azer in position to kick a field goal to win this thing. Now, the kick for Northern, Maryland fans wonder which way the wind is blowing. Azar would be kicking into a small three. Which would mean they've got to go just a bit further. And again, take, take what's open, but don't make any mistakes if you're Northern. You'd love to win it here, but you certainly don't want to do anything to jeopardize overtime. Aldi fires, and it's dropped. Let's go down to the sideline. Gail Fisher's on the Northern Illinois sideline. Dave, Josh Haldy is hurting. He spent that last possession warming up on the sidelines, throwing the ball. He hurt his back in that last hit that he took, so he is very stiff. He was trying to stretch it out and work it out, but he is not 100%. Well, he's been a number 10 pinata all night long. He is. Maryland has brought the heat. Spent a number of plays on his backside. They have. Maryland has been relentless. Baldy fires, again. throws, and Fleck again makes the catch. And a timeout Huskies with 23 seconds left. The ball at the 45 yard line. The clock stops the first down. They're looking to snap it quick. They did not take a timeout. Baldy fires and cannot hit his man. Rushed it a little bit. Chatone Powers was there. You're right, he rushed it just a bit. Well, if I'm defensive coordinator Gary Blackney for the Maryland Terrapins, I'm telling at least two of my guys to watch the young man wearing number 82 in the red jersey. Yeah, you better find out where he is. Closing in on a 10-catch night, P.J. Fleck is, if not already there. Snap, Aldi, fires, gets rid of it, and it is... And here comes the flag. Tipped away. Now, are we going to have a 15-yard penalty on Maryland for hitting the quarterback? Yes, we are. 15 yards on the turf for roughing the quarterback. An unconscionable penalty. That cannot happen, Tom. The Terps are putting a big, big red bow on this one for Northern Illinois. Roughing the passer. By the defense, helmet to helmet contact. 15 yards, automatic first down. This just a complete lack of discipline. And by the way, P.J. Fleck, 11 catches for 99 yards and a touchdown. Well, this football is now sitting at the 40-yard line. You are looking at a 57-yard field goal right now. Another 10 yards puts Azar certainly within his range. Two timeouts left for Northern Illinois. Aldi says to his guys, relax. Nearly fumbled the snap. Throws, and it is dropped. <laughs> Sam Hurd had it and dropped it. Well, that was enough to give Steve Azar a chance. 9.9 .9 seconds left. Two timeouts left for Northern and one for Maryland. We look at the replay. Again, Haldy standing strong in the pocket. Got to come up with that catch. If you do, you can call timeout. They have the luxury of throwing the ball in the middle of the field because of the two timeouts. And here Aldi comes the hit. 
and he got flat, and he is tackled at the 26. Timeout with five seconds left, and their All-American kicker, Steve Azar, a senior, will step on and try to Northern Illinois. The biggest victory in school history over the 15th rank. Maryland Terrapin. What can you say about P.J. Fleck? He's a slow catch of the night. He goes over 100 yards receiving. As I told you, they had the luxury because of the timeouts to attack the middle of the field. They get the quick completion. They get the extra yardage. They put Steve Azar in position to kick the, way, the, the game winning field goal. And we talked about it earlier. All Northern wanted to do was hang into this game late into the fourth quarter and give themselves the chance to win. Exactly what they've done. Well, there's Joe Novak, his mentor. We told you Bill Mallory is at home in Bloomington, Indiana, watching this football game, and I guarantee you he's wearing on a hole the carpeting in front of the TV. He has got to be pacing for his guy. Joe Novak, his longtime defensive coordinator. Azar has one career game winner two years ago in the season over over University of Southern Florida. South Florida's only game winner, a 43-yard attempt to win it with five seconds time left. Timeout. Maryland calls Maryland. their final timeout. That's their third and final timeout. Safe to say that if this picks, pickskin goes through the uprights, this is the biggest win in recent Northern Illinois football history. Complete history, no question. Over the number 15 team in the country and a team, in my opinion, from watching tonight, if they eliminate some of their foolish mistakes, I think Maryland is a heck of a football they team. They are a very good and football team. And tip your cap to Joe Novak and Northern, they're legit. They are the real deal. They have hung around. They have taken advantage of the mistakes that Maryland has made, and they have made a bunch. Last year, they were the Mac West champions. Did not win the Mac outright. They lost with 41 seconds left. That was their month for all off season. They will now get a chance. From 43 yards, their All-American kicker will try and win it. Steve Azar with Fleck to hold. The snap, the kick, it is blocked. The kick was blocked. We will have overtime. Wow. Maryland blocks Azar's kick. Wow! It's not over yet, obviously. You talk about a clutch play. That is stepping up in a big way. Who wow. got a hand on it? That's unbelievable. Someone with an incredible vertical leap. Much better than either of us. I think it was Curtis Williams, spot. number 15, I believe, was the man that got a hand on it. Yes, it was. What a big play. Curtis Williams, number 15, got a big old paw up and said, not tonight, Mr. Azar. One more look at it. Watch 15. You talk about getting up. Wow. That is elevation. And he gets the hand on it. And we are going to overtime. Wow. You know what overtime is, Tom? It's like getting a free dessert after a great meal. We've got... More to feed you coming up on Fox Sports Next. Will you look at this? Cooper Tilson's latest documentary is about his new home. What's all this stuff? We bought the house and the contents. And it's pulling him into a mystery. Oh, my God. Because the crime he's investigating is not only unsolved. Do you know what you're getting yourself into? It's unfinished. Let's get out of here. Dennis Quaid, Sharon Stone. Get out of my house! Cold Creek Manor, rated R, starts September 12th. If you're losing your hair, how would you like a free month supply of Avacor? Huh? That's right. We're giving away an additional one month supply of Avacor absolutely free with today's orders. Did you know thousands of people just like you have reversed their hair loss thanks to Avacor? Imagine going from this to this. When I started to notice my hair thinning, I took action with Avacor. It stopped my hair loss. I'm regrowing my hair. It's worth every penny. Before you spend thousands on painful hair restoration procedures, why not give us a call and let Avacor regrow your hair the easy way without paying a fortune? Avacor is so effective, it's guaranteed for up to one full year. 
Isn't it time you regained that youthful appearance? The sooner you order, the sooner Abacor can start regrowing your hair. Call 800-711-4525. Remember, order today to get an extra month's supply for free. That's 800-711-4525. In a emotionally charged stage show that critics are calling a feel-good triumph. A musical testament dedicated to the dreamer in all of us. A touching story filled with passion and romance. The show that will live in your heart forever. Fame, the musical. Fame, the Broadway hit musical for one night only. Sunday, September 21st at the NIU Convocation Center. Also performing at the NIU Convocation Center on September 28th, Rascal Flats with special guest Chris Cagle and Brian McComas presented by CMT Most Wanted Live Tour. And on Saturday, November 1st, it's comedian Wayne Brady and friends. All three shows are on sale now at all Ticketmaster locations. For more information on these three shows and other events, visit the Convocation Center website at convocationcenter.niu.ed. Here go on opening night. Devron Francis stepped up and made a play, stopping Wake Forest on a two-point conversion try after a touchdown that would have given the Demon Deacons the win. In Northern, overtime. In overtime. Northern walked away with a 42-41 victory. Now, we will find out who could dig down just a little bit deeper, the number 15 Maryland Terrapins, or the favorites to win the Mid-American Conference Championship, the Northern Illinois Huskies. This has been a real pretty game, has it? Maryland, nine penalties, 90 yards, and one turnover. Northern with eight penalties, 56 yards, one turnover. But I'd have to say Maryland penalties have come at more inopportune times. Coin toss, and it looks like Maryland won the toss. in the college football system of overtime, this could take quite some time. What a play, what a play by... Maryland has won the toss and elected to go on defense. So Maryland has won the toss and again they defer. Does that surprise you? Well, offensively, they haven't done a whole lot tonight. Maybe they feel a little more confident. Obviously, we talked about it earlier. Ralph Regan's defense, nine returning starters last year. They gave up just 16 points. Now, granted, they've done some things wrong tonight, but they have really shut down Michael Turner. Done a nice job keeping this northern offense out of the end zone. Joe Novak's got his hands full right now. His team has definitely taking a shot to the gut, knocked the wind out of them. They were ready to celebrate a wonderful win. Now they're going to get back out there and start battling again. Momentum certainly has switched over to the Maryland sideline. Well, I think judging by the gas from the fans, because they thought Steve Azar was going to drill that. Well, it was a good kick, too. It was just an outstanding play by the young man from Maryland. It was not a low kick. It was perfectly hit. Just a phenomenal play from Curtis Williams. Okay, each team will start now with the football at the 25 Northern first. Haldy gives it to Mike Turner, and he will gain maybe a yard. Maryland's defense stiffens in a big way. The tough sledding all night long trying to run the football. We knew coming into this game that offensive line for Northern was going to be a big question. They've had to replace three starters from last season's team. And a very formidable opponent up front, Maryland is. Second down and eight. They'll call it a two-yard game. Dequel Jackson, the man with the play. Baldy firing throws, and it is caught. I believe it's Fleck again. Yes, it is. D.J. Fleck makes the catch. We'll see where they spot this football. They will spot it at the 20. Gain of three, bringing up a third and five look again for some misdirection maybe a screen pass you just saw the naked the bootleg there maybe a draw but again you have to do something to slow down that attacking Maryland defense Baldy out of the shotgun 
fires, throws, and he's got his man, it's Sheldon! It's in the end zone! Stand, stand, stand! Touchdown, Southern Illinois! Just an outstanding throw. Dan Sheldon, again, I'm surprised he's even on the field. But look to be a horrible knee injury early in the third quarter. Wow! A huge play. Huge play. Takes the catch, breaks the tackle, finds Pager, and the Husky has grabbed the lead in overtime. Azar's extra point is good. And it's 20 to 13. And IU, let's get a look, Tom Waddle. Just a man on man route. Josh Haldy, as he's done all night, sat in the pocket. Dan Sheldon, he throws it to his outside. Sheldon makes a great catch and a smooth move. And that's an all-ACC quarterback, Dominique Foxworth, that he just beat to the end zone. Haldy threw it in the only spot he could. Wow, Sheldon comes up with a big play. Again, I am shocked at this young man able to come in and contribute after suffering what looked to be a pretty severe knee injury earlier in the ball game. He went down, grabbed that knee after catching a first down pass, and it came back in. Well, the Turks now have their chance from the 25-yard line. McBrien under center. Allen, the tail of the tandem. They give it to Allen. Picks his way for maybe three. We'll see where they spot it. They'll bring up a second and seven. Once again, Nick Duffy in on the play. I don't know exactly how many tackles he has tonight. He's going to be an awful fired young man tomorrow morning. Second seven. McBrien is going to go out of the shotgun. Marks out his call. Northern brings pressure. McBrien hit as he throws. And it is intercepted. Intercepted by Northern Illinois. And they have won the football game. Unbelievable. An unbelievable play. And it looked like the referee wanted to pull his flag out. Flag Northern for pass defense, but he, he didn't come up with it. And it is over. Northern Illinois has stung number 15, Maryland. They have intercepted the play at the goal line, and the ball game is over. And for this night, the Mid-American Conference rules over the ACC. Emotion, but boy, is he fired up, and he's with our Gail Fisher. Coach, a lot of people in this country would not have believed that you could beat the 15th ranked Maryland Terrapins. You did it tonight. Do you believe that you've earned the nation's respect? Well, I'd like to hope so. It's about time. It's been a long haul. Our kids believe all the way. We got it done. It's a great, great victory for our program. How did you keep your team from getting down after that missed field goal? Well, the last couple years, we've had a lot of games. We've come from behind, a lot of tough times. Our kids have persevered, and they really showed that today. This is a great victory for you, and you have a Heisman Trophy candidate in Michael the Burner Turner. However, he did not play to probably his potential tonight. Were you disappointed with that? No, I'm glad we won. Michael's glad we won. And you have a lot of tough teams on your schedule. Who's going to give your program put on the map nationally? Well, one at a time. One at a time. All right, Coach. A great win for them. Zane, let's send it back to you. Thank you, Dale. It's certainly you a step in the right direction. Joe Novak absolutely elated. The crowd going wild, and let's go down to Mitch Robinson, who's with the hero, Dan Sheldon. Let me ask you, first of all, you shouldn't, as Tom Waddle said all night, you shouldn't even be on the field after that knee bent the way it did. I said it was a scare, but 
I think it, my, my, my leg went numb. I think it was just a bruise on the tendon. Um, you know, I, I, I was not about to get out of this game. If it was an ACL tear, I was coming back in. I didn't care. They released me, I came back. I mean, I was not about to leave this game early. In your wildest dreams, you ever imagine a scene like what's going on here right now? This is probably the greatest feeling ever. It's the biggest thing that's ever happened to this sport field right here. It's you, unbelievable. You wish it was a bowl game, but it's only game one. You got a whole season to go. Well, we're gonna play the same intensity the same way every single game. We're coming out to win every game. So Northern Illinois for real? We're for real, we're coming out. I mean, we got a lot to prove, but you know, we got a great team, a lot of great guys. I mean, I think we're gonna do some great things this year. All right, you asked if you could celebrate with your friends. Go get them. Congratulations. <laughs> Big win for Northern, Dave. Back to you. Thank you, Mitch. Well, well this crowd is absolutely going crazy. And Tom, that young man oh. just spoke volumes. Oh. I wasn't coming out of my core, my ACL. Oh, no. What a gutsy performance from Dan Sheldon. What a gutsy performance from Josh Aldi, who sat in the pocket all night long, got beat up on several occasions from that, that Maryland pass rush. P.J. Fleck, what, 12, 13 catches. These guys answered the bell. They have opened some eyes around the entire college football world. We will come back and talk some more about it. Unbelievable win. Huskies over Terry. These people are getting answers to the most important questions they'll ever ask. Questions about their health. They're finding those answers in a single place. WebMD. 16 million people come to WebMD every month. They find vital information that used to be scattered in a hundred locations, now all in one place. The place America comes for healthcare answers. A place called WebMD. 16 million people will come to WebMD this month. Some will learn about a condition or a diagnosis. Others will chat with experts. Many will simply decide when to visit a doctor. We'll help them all to navigate WebMD's wealth of medically reviewed information to find exactly what they need. Americans may have thousands of different questions about their health, but now they have a single place to find the answers. All right, it's between you guys. Best bartender gets the job. After you. Oh, boy. I've got this one. <laughs> Canada's finest. Thanks. Look up, see blue, Labatt Blue. Is it hot in here or is it just him? The car of your dreams is waiting. The Infiniti FX and Motor Trend's 2003 Car of the Year, the G35 and G35 Coupe. Visit Infiniti's limited engagement sales event, but hurry. With special APR financing on select models, the car of your dreams could be gone. Welcome back to an unbelievable scene here in DeKalb, Illinois. The Northern Illinois Huskies have shocked the football world, and they have knocked out the 15th ranked Maryland Terrapins here tonight in overtime, 20 to 13. Let's go back down to the sidelines. Mitch Robinson is with P.J. Fleck. P.J., 12 catches, you're exhausted. Talk about first that touchdown in the first half, the drag in the foot. You know, we were running a lot of flat routes early, and uh, they were jumping the flat, and I just had to get on the flat fast, and uh, we did kind of an out and up, and uh, Josh threw a good ball. He, he put it in the only spot he could put it. You know, we got that four by four box in the back end, end of the end zone. He put it there, I caught it. Drug my foot. Good, good thing I wear a size 11 because <laughs> I drug that toe. You've been here a long time. Biggest win of, uh, of your career so far in this school? By no means. Hands down. And this is uh, this is eight years in the making for Coach Novak. And I'm so proud of him and his staff and all these guys that hang on here. There's a thing in our locker room that says those who stay will be champions. Hopefully we can do that this year. Congratulations, man. Thank you very much. Good luck the rest of the way. All right, go ahead. DJ Fleck, back to you, Dave. <laughs> Thank you, Mitch. All right, let's take a look at that final play. This is what gave Northern the victory. The interception down at the goal line. The ball was deflected. It looked like the official was ready to throw He was throw reaching flag. for his flag, and he decided it probably wasn't the right decision. Absolutely so. right. And then so that Northern Illinois gets the big victory. And you take a look. Here's the play as McBrien looks to throw, and he heaves it for the end zone. And the ball is kicked, I believe, by, is it Rob Lee? 
and Randy looks Drew like Rob Lee. Yes, comes and Randy up with Drew the interception. Up. And it looked like the official from our vantage point wanted to call a pass interference, did not, and NIU comes away with a huge win. Once again, your final, Northern 20 to 13 over number 15, Maryland. For Tom Waddle, I'm David Kaplan. The proceeding has been an exclusive presentation of Fox Sports Net and Northern Illinois. This is the Fox Sports Net update. I'm Lisa Durgan. When standards are high, any setback is dangerous. You know, uh, Kellen Winslow, one of the many touted as Heisman hopefuls this first weekend of college football. Winslow with a, a touchdown catch and also uh, helped Miami to get their first victory. Yeah, the Heisman pose. <laughs> if you want the trophy at the end of the season, it's important to get off to a good start. You make right? an excellent point. Did you know the last Heisman Trophy winner whose team lost its season opener? Johnny Rogers, 1972 for the preseason number one, Nebraska. Hey, we're coming right back at you. Yeah, let's do this again. It was fun. This is Sports Center. An all-out painting down in Cajun country. But could the burner turn over the turf? Bit to be tied for the wild card. Three teams, one spot in the American League, while four NL teams aim to get even. Some final pigskin preheating. Quincy slices up the Raiders. Bowler strikes a veteran pose. So who's set to win it all in 2003? Never missing a call. Sports Center, right now. Welcome to Sports Center with Kevin Frazier. I'm Steve Levy. You know, we were going to lead with Miami, but yeah. then a funny thing happened to Maryland. Last year, Northern Illinois opened up with a shocking overtime win over Georgia Tech. This year, another ACC opponent and another opener for the Huskies. Hmm. 14th ranked Maryland in town. Their first game in the state of Illinois in 77 years. Second quarter, Josh Haldy to P.J. Fleck. Are you kidding? What a great catch for the touchdown. Watch it again and uh, explain it to me, P.J. Josh threw a good ball. He, he put it in the only spot he could put it. You know, we got that 4 by 4 box in the back end, end of the end zone. He put it there. I caught it. Drug my foot. Good, good thing I wear a size 11 because <laughs> I drug that toe. Good thing you have skills. We jump to the fourth quarter. Northern down 13 10. Third and five. Hawley drops it to Fleck. Fleck 13 catches for 116 yards. First down Husky. Same drive. Michael Turner up the middle of the burner gets the first down. Again, the Huskies with a third and one, and Hawley keeps it. He was 21 of 35 for 266 yards. Another first down. Same drive. Haldy runs it on the quarterback. Scramble stops short of the first down. Now, in comes your All-American kicker, Steve Azar. Lasher against Wake. That was the game-tied field goal. Back to this game. Same flavor. Azar, 26-yard field goal. It's all even late at 13. Later, fourth quarter, Northern. Gets the ball back with 17 seconds ago. Haldy drops back. The pass is incomplete, but a penalty on Maryland roughing the passer. A helmet to helmet personal foul. So Northern goes back to work. Nine seconds left. Haldy to flex. NIU calls timeout. Joe Novak concerned. Azar in. The All American kicker has his kick blocked by Curtis Williams. So that means extra fun. Maryland thinks they get away with one. First overtime, Northern, Don Sheldon to the promised land, Huskies lead 2013. Terps turn to answer. Northern brings pressure, McBride hit as he throws. And it is intercepted, intercepted by Northern Illinois, and they have won the football game. Unbelievable. An unbelievable play. Watch again. Almost could have been pass interference. Ball deflects off a of quarterback Rob Lee's leg and then into Rondi Drew's hands. There's a party over here as NIU pulls off the huge upset. Larry 
Larry Coker's third-ranked Hurricanes hit Louisiana Tech on ESPN with new quarterback Brock Berlin. Berlin won three state titles in high school. Where was he from? Where? Right there, Shreveport, Louisiana. So some more pressure on him. On third and seven, not much pressure. He had great protection. Completes to Ryan Moore. Three plays later, same deal, third and seven. It's Moore again, this time four more. 24 yards and a touchdown, 7 nothing Miami. Just moments later. Miami returning a punt. You know, Miami had five non-offensive touchdowns all of last season. Five minutes into this season, they've got their first. Entrell Roll, a 66-yard punt return for the score was 14-0 Miami. Now watch the punter. He's in perfect position to make the tackle, except he's blocked by his own teammate. And roll off to the end zone. Later in the first, Miami driving. Brock Berlin has tight end wide open, but lost the football. It's a fumble. He recovered it, but he throw an interception on the very next play. Third quarter now. Berlin to K2, Kellen Winslow, Jr. Winslow strikes the pose. Hey, Kirk, what about his form? Hey, I know Kellen Winslow is one of the best players in the country, but Kellen... You're playing Louisiana Tech, August 28th. Nice touchdown, but come on. Not the Heisman pose. Save that for Florida State. You wonder what old school Kellen Winslow Sr. thought of that. He probably agrees with Kirk. Miami wins in a big way. Comparing Brock Berlin's first hurricane start under center to that of other notable Miami quarterbacks, Ken Dorsey only threw for 194 yards in his first outing. Heisman winner Gino Toretto went for 239. And going back to 79, Jim Kelly had nearly 300 yards and threw for three touchdowns. Straight ahead, inside Sports Center. So many divisions up for grabs in the bigs. We start in the Central. Cubs, Cards, Strohs fighting in the NL. While the White Sox, Royals and Twins battle in the AL. Out West, the A's are holding off the M's. And we haven't even started with the wild card races. The NFL preseason ends with question marks. Who will call the plays in Jacksonville? How about in Baltimore? And is the deuce really ready to be loose in Philly? Highlights and answers on the way. Think that was good? Believe it or not, we can find better in our Sports Center Top 10. I have spent a weekend in Vegas without a hotel room. I have driven 150 miles for three rolled tacos. I've given a toast at a wedding that I wasn't even invited to. I have French kissed a French woman. I have called shotgun 11 hours before a road trip. I've eaten condiments as a meal. I have dated Carmen Electra's cousin's friend's sister. Sometimes the best way to connect is to reconnect with the people you're closest to in a setting of unspoiled beauty. A place where trees outnumber people and where people welcome visitors with open arms. A place where you can refresh your soul and regain perspective on what's really important. A place called Arkansas, the natural state. Call today for your free Arkansas vacation planning kit. Sports Center, brought to you by Rocky Mountain Cold Coors Light. Cold down easy. Rubber game, Cards and Cubs, both chasing the Astros in the Central. Matt Morris hooking up with Sammy Sosa in the top of the first inning. And that got us to thinking, how about the last at bat between these two? July 5th, Sammy, a two-run shot. That was the 512th of his career. Let's go back to Thursday. This would be the first at bat between the two since that last matchup. Same deal, different park, different uniform. Sammy, get out of town. 1-0 Cubs is 31st of the season, 5-30 on his career. Bottom of the fifth, it's 2-0 Cubs. Carlos Zambrano facing Scott Roll with the bases loaded. Rowland pop foul, first base side. Randall Simon reaching over and makes the grab. A top 10 nominee, and Zambrano was pumped by the defensive support. Bottom seven, Zambrano against Roland. Roland, not going to take any chances. Puts it out of reach and out of the park is 25th to tie it at two. Top eight, still tied at two. Mike DeJohn against Ramon Martinez. Liner to center. Jim Edmonds, the catch and the throw. If you're calling for Doug Landville, leave a message at the beep. 
He'll call you when he gets home. What a play. Wendell Kim, the third base coach, sends him in a web gem from Edmonds. Bottom nine. Was still tied at two. Ago? Was that like four? Something like that. Yeah, okay. Cubs bullpen. Troubles on Wednesday night. Mike Remlinger against Kerry Robinson. The game-winning home run. First homer of the year from Robinson. And that's your ball game. Astros trying to complete their first sweep of L.A. in more than a decade and hold on to the top spot in the central. Top of the third, and that's Adrian Beltre. Sends a rope to left field, but Lance Bergman there to make the ninth diving play. Next batter, Jeremy Burnett with two on, and uh, he hits this one deep to right. It'll bounce off the wall, and the Hollywood swingers get off the board. Sean Green comes around, an RBI double, Dodgers up 3-2. Bottom of the third, Dodgers up 4-2. Wilson Alvarez does the wild thing. Paul LaDuca, great stop. Then guns it the second. Great play by LaDuca. Eric Gagne on for the save. Now, Gagne's converted his last 51 save opportunities. In other words, when he comes in, it's over. Bottom of the eight, 5-3 Dodgers. Gagne, Lance Berkman. Berkman gets a piece of 11, but... uh. Dave Rogers walking up the hill. He knows better. Walk up the hill. Great catch by Roberts at the wall. You look at the remix. Like I said, when Eric Gagne comes in, lights out. Dodgers win 6-3. So we take a peek at your up-to-the-minute standings in the National League Central. Cards move into a tie with Houston for first in the National League Central. Cubs stay a game and a half back. St. Louis will play five games at Wrigley in the first four days of September. So mark that on your calendar. Meanwhile, Astros' next nine games are against either San Diego or L.A. To the wild card race in the Phillies started the day a half game back, trying to avoid getting swept by Bingo Long and the traveling All-Stars. This is... I love that movie. I love that. 27 games in 27 days there. What, Phillies 1-8 and eight so far during that 27-game stretch. Javier Vasquez on the hill, dealing 18 consecutive scoreless innings, make it 19 as he does the deep in the top of the first. Bottom of the first in Vladimir Guerrero helping his homie out. A two-run shot. Guerrero's 20th of the season. 3 nothing Expos. Top of the second and Vasquez going to work. 20,000 fans on hand. Vasquez says 20,000 feels like 50,000 here. Top of the fourth, Vasquez gets Pat Burrow. Again, he's a three-time victim in 0 for 4 on the day. Top of the six, it's Bobby Abreu's turn in search of. He was 0 for 3. Next batter, Jim Tome. 24 scoreless innings for Vasquez at that point in the top of the seventh. He gets Tyler Houston. He goes eight innings. He now has 26 consecutive scoreless innings. Marlins have been able to take advantage of that Phillies now six-game losing streak. They're in Pittsburgh with Don Trell on the mound. Trying to avoid a three-game losing streak of their own. i got to talk right through this at bat. It took forever in the bottom of the fourth. Jack Wilson, all these pitches on a 3-2 count. When it was all said and done, 12 pitches thrown to Wilson. That was the seventh foul ball, so he's wearing me out. Was he wearing Dontrell out? Maybe on the 13th pitch. Wilson lines this Willis fastball into the gap. Scores Jason Bay, Josh Fogg, and Jeff Rebele. Three zip pirates. Wilson has himself a 15-game hitting streak. Now some defense. Top of the fifth. Miguel Cabrera lines a fog pitch the other way. J.J. Davis making the play on the run, a top 10 nominee. Top of the eighth. Cabrera grounds one sharply into the hole. Wilson the dive. That's only part of the play, the throw and the scoop. Another top 10 nominee. Still 4 0. Bases loaded, two out for one. Encarnacion. Mike Lincoln gets in the ground out. Pirates going to beat Dontrell and the Marlins 5 0. So Florida can't take advantage. Check this baby out. A five way tie. The top of the National League wild card race. Three other teams are within a game and a half the lead. The Marlins start a four game series with the Expos Friday in South FLA. Will anyone be there to watch it? The Phils go to Shea. The Astros are in San Diego. And the Cards visit the Reds. The Marlins left Pittsburgh short one player. Backup catcher Ramon Castro was arrested and has been jailed on charges. He raped a woman in his hotel room early Thursday morning. Police report a 28-year-old woman went to the hospital reporting she'd been raped. She was treated and released with what authorities call minor injuries. An attorney representing Castro says the allegations are untrue. His agent and the Marlins have declined comment. Kevin.
On to the NFL. You know, it's been an eventful summer for Deuce Staley, and not just because of his contract holdout. In June, Staley was among a group of NFL players who visited our troops over in Iraq. Staley called it the trip of a lifetime and said he actually felt kind of weird when troops came up to thank him for visiting. Quote, they're more heroes than we are. They're out there risking their lives for what's right. End quote. Deuce hitting the field for the first time Thursday night. Eagles and Jets in their final exhibition game. And uh, time for the starters to chill, but time for Deuce to do his thing. Early first quarter, the handoff and the Deuce stuff, no gain. Then uh, tries one as a receiver, can't hold on. Deuce said his whole motivation was really just to knock the rust off. Well, um, maybe a couple of people knocked the rust off for him. Vinny Testaverde also sat this one out because the Jets didn't want to take any chances. Do three carries, four yards, one drop pass. So Markel Blackwell doing his thing. Blackwell, Jonathan Carter, 39-yard touchdown, 17-3 Jets. Blackwell, 7-12, 111 yards, two TDs. Bad news for the Eagles. Jerome McDougal, their first-round draft pick, the 15th overall pick out of Miami, goes down, undercut by his own teammate. X-rays negative. He will have an MRI on Friday. Friday. Who cares about the score? More concerned about McDougal. More than ever this year, the Eagles must run the football to get back to the NFC Championship game, and it's Deuce Staley who's going to have to do it. But holding out of camp becomes a problem. Early in this preseason game, this fourth preseason game, Staley, and we're going to show you the effects, what happens when you hold out. One of the better receivers out of the backfield in the league. But concentration becomes a problem when you're not there. Look at his head trying to find the defensive player before he catches the ball. Ball on the ground, incomplete pass in the regular season. That's a problem because that's a chain mover. Now running the ball. Two on one, he's got a very easy cut to the outside. The average back will see this, but because the holdout, he's still trying to feel his way, and the timing from a back to offensive lineman when you're missing training camp becomes a problem. In three weeks, Deuce Staley will be back to the way he's supposed to be. Lots more from Sean later. Lots of speculation surrounding Mark Brunel's future in Jacksonville. We ask you to remember, ninth highest quarterback rating in league history, led the Jags to two AFC title games. Only Peyton Manning makes more as a starting NFL quarterback. First quarter, Brunel play action, rolling out, hits tight end Kyle Brady. He got a new contract, he's got a touchdown. Extra point was good, 7-0 Jaguars. Later on, it was Byron Leftwich's turn. Throwing downfield, hits the tight end.